Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook, Man in Another World, Awakening Hokage System. Chapter 41 When, the burly man turned his head and looked at Lei Lei, his eyes full of doubts. Thunder's true body has always been under his nose, why did it turn into a clone at this time? Looking at the burly man who was quickly losing his vitality, Lei Lei glanced indifferently and said, Since the beginning of the battle, you have ignored and hidden the clone. My technique can not only be replaced with objects, but also used on clones. At the critical moment, you used the substitute technique to exchange with him, and you were confused, but you didn't notice it. Quote, it's not unfair to lose. However, you can't escape the encirclement and suppression of the Black Wolf mercenary group. The huge body of the burly man also collapsed limply. Ding, congratulations to host, you killed the senior swordsman and gained 7,000 experience points and 3,500 contribution points. Congratulations to host, for completing the strangulation mission, the reward is Shadow Clone, 10,000 experience points, and 3,000 contribution points. Following the sound of the nine trumpets, Lele's figure slowly left. The afternoon sun fell from the sky, shining on the silent camp below. In just a moment, Dozens of figures quickly shuttled between the trees, breaking the tranquility here. It's too quiet. Where are the people? Looking at the motionless camp and the traces left by the battle, Xu Xing, who rushed back to ask for help, was heartbroken. Then he clenched the weapon in his hand and jumped quickly towards the camp. The mercenaries who came with him also had a bad feeling in their hearts. Who did this? Standing outside the camp, the mercenaries looked at the lifeless corpses in the open space, which constantly stimulated everyone's hearts. Dead, all dead. It was that kid. That's right, it was that little fool who did it. Xu Xing gritted his teeth as he looked at the traces of the battle. There were eight corpses lying in the open space, and the corpse of the burly man Li Tu was also found. He was lying quietly on the ground, the blood flowing out had solidified, and his eyes were wide open, as if he was dying with his eyes open. The senior swordsman, was actually killed too. Many mercenaries looked at the stiff corpse of the burly man Li Tu with shock on their faces. The senior swordsman captain of the Black Wolf mercenary group was killed. I heard that the person who did it seems to be one person. Hey, inside information, it's a young man who single-handedly killed the elite team that provoked him. Tisk, tisk, the Black Wolf mercenary group has really lost their face this time. They were made so embarrassed by a young man. I wonder how they can still be so arrogant in the Warcraft Mountains in the future. I don't know where the news came from. In just a short period of time, almost the entire Warcraft town was buzzing with rumors that the elite team of the Black Wolf mercenary group had been killed. For a time, countless gloating eyes looked at the Black Wolf mercenary group, as if waiting for a bigger joke. In the center of the gloomy hall where the Black Wolf mercenary group was stationed, the body of the burly man Li Tu was placed, making the already gloomy hall look even more gloomy. Looking at the body of the burly man, everyone in the hall was silent, not daring to make the slightest sound, because they noticed that the man in the center of the hall was emitting cold murderous intent. Xu Sheng, was that kid really responsible? Suddenly, the man's cold voice sounded in the gloomy hall. That's right, Deacon Chen. Xu Sheng, who was standing at the bottom, said quickly, the fire magic and terrifying physical skills left behind by the battle traces were all used by that boy. Magic and physical arts, it's really incredible, he is actually a dual practitioner of magic and martial arts. After hearing Xu Xing's words, everyone in the hall suddenly started whispering among themselves. Humph, with a cold shout, the hall instantly became quiet, and he looked up at Deacon Chen. So what if you are a magician and a martial artist? If you kill our people, you will have to pay for it with blood. Having said this, Deacon Chen stared at the body of the burly man with red eyes. The man's teeth gritted and his violent anger was suppressed in his solemn voice. I'm going to cut that kid into pieces. Xu Xing, tell me more about what happened. Yes, Deacon Chen, listening to Xu Xing's detailed explanation and looking at the cold corpse on the ground, as members of the Black Wolf mercenary group, they knew very well the overall strength of the Burly Lee 2 team. However, the mercenary team, which even great swordsmen were afraid of, was actually destroyed by that young boy. Deacon Chen felt an even more violent murderous intention in his heart. Now that he has become an enemy, this kind of enemy, 
must find a way to put him to death as soon as possible. Deacon Chen slowly raised his head and looked at the mercenary below, his eyes filled with murderous intent. That boy was able to kill the elite mercenary team, which means that his strength should be at the peak of advanced swordsmen. Moreover, that boy's methods are a bit weird. If he is a magician and a martial artist, his strength will definitely be stronger. There was a trace of emotion in Deacon Chen's voice. Cold, I will report this matter to the branch in the imperial capital. However, I cannot let that kid leave just now. From now on, all members of the Black Wolf mercenary group will give up their missions and enter the Warcraft Mountains. In groups of five, they will try their best to find that kid. There are no traces of the boy. Butler Chen ordered with a sharp face. Yes, everyone below shouted in unison. Contact Captain Wong, who is leading the mission in the Warcraft Mountains, and we must kill that kid in the Warcraft Mountains. Deacon Chen shouted coldly as he slowly clenched his palms. The Black Wolf mercenary group in Warcraft Town has a large mercenary team stationed all year round. There are more than a hundred mercenary teams in total. The captain leads six teams to perform tasks. Deacon Chen is in charge of affairs, and both of them are powerful. It's a great swordsman. This was also the reason why he dared to arrange this. I don't believe that that boy can escape from the strangulation of our Black Wolf mercenary group. Yes, Lei Lei, who didn't know the crisis was coming at this time, was resting in a hidden jungle. It's so cool. After resting for most of the night, he felt refreshed and the fatigue from yesterday's battle was gone. Ha ha, Shadow Clone, awesome, Thunder suddenly became excited. This was a bug-like ninjutsu, a shadow clone with a physical clone and body consciousness that could assist him in fighting. Nine horns, are there any side effects after using shadow clone? Host, feel free to use it. The system will produce high-quality products without any side effects. Ha ha, that's great, it's a pity, it's not a multiple shadow clone technique. Thinking about the overwhelming shadow clone, Lele's mouth watered with envy. Nine speakers, open the properties interface. Okay, host. Level. Chunin experience. 36,156 100 thousandths. Name. Thunder. HP value. 300 three hundredths. Spiritual value. 1,000 1,000. Ninjutsu. Free body technique. Instant body technique. Great fireball technique. Healing technique. Water body technique. Earth style. Earth stone dragon. Fire style. Fire Dragon Flame Bullet, Lightning Style, Thunder Ball, Fire Style, Phoenix Sage Fire Technique, Shadow Clone Technique. Physical Skills, Basic Physical Skills, Blood Succession Limit, Magnet Style, Contribution Value, 11,178. Great, a great harvest. Lei Lei was excited and his hands flew out of the air. Open the Ninjutsu Interface. Okay, host. Lei Ming looked carefully at the various ninjutsu on the interface. It is recommended that host give priority to learning chakra control and physical skills grandmaster. The cold voice of nine speakers sounded again, but it gave Lei Ming a hint. Then the two items chakra control grandmaster and taijutsu grandmaster appear on the page, followed by a detailed introduction. Lei Ming looked at it carefully and understood that these two items are basically the basic literacy requirements for ninjas. Although he has systematic bonuses and does not have to worry about strength, these two items are the basic requirements for ninjutsu and taijutsu. The foundation is not solid, and the ninjutsu used also has great limitations, such as seal formation time, melee skills, etc., which all have obvious limitations on Thunder's strength. Looking at the contribution value of 10,000 points in a daze, Lele rolled his eyes and said helplessly, although it is good to have a system, the contribution value is not enough. The 10,000 contribution points I just got are about to be used up. When will I be able to hold back an A-level ninjutsu? Just by controlling chakra, Grandmaster can actually form seals with one hand after learning. Based on this, Lele is also very jealous. Don't you see, Itachi's one-handed seal has harvested so many little fans. Nine trumpets, redeem. Okay, host, consume 10,000 contribution points. At that moment, Lele received a large amount of information from the system in his mind. He immediately understood the essence of chakra control and physical skills, and at the same time, it also allowed him to calm down and slowly appreciate the essence. Time passes. Thunder was obsessed with his thoughts for a long time. 
When he opened his eyes again, the sky was completely dark, and a bright crescent moon hung in the distant sky. Lei Lei suddenly stood up, exerting force on his feet, like an eagle out of its cage, spreading its wings and leaping down, standing steadily on the tree trunk, and then walked up the tree trunk step by step. Thunder stepped on the tree trunk without falling down at all. He walked very steadily. His control and use of power were more subtle and subtle, which made him walk so smoothly. This was an action he had never dared to try before. Climbing trees and wading in water seems very simple in Hokage, as long as a ninja can do it, but it should be noted that this process requires strong chakra control ability and skills, which is lacking for thunder. Phew, that's great. The geniuses in the Hokage are just scum in front of me. Thunder was hanging upside down on the branch. He knew how ugly Nazuo was when he climbed a tree for the first time, so he laughed loudly, Ju Shoutao, I love you so much. He slowly exhaled, a flash of light flashed in his eyes, and then his right hand quickly reached into the void, and a long sword exuding an icy cold light suddenly appeared in his hand. At the same time, the other hand also moved, several seals were quickly formed, and Lei Ting's figure suddenly disappeared. It's actually a one-handed seal. Instantaneous technique. The body that suddenly disappeared appeared in the air in front of him. He swung his long sword and turned around to slash horizontally. Then he flipped and dodged quickly. He raised his right hand high and exploded with strange power. He slashed at the big tree at an incredible and tricky angle. With a bang, the thick tree was cut off and slowly fell down. Lei Lei sighed softly, stepped lightly on the ground, his eyes focused, and he saw his hands quickly flying to form a seal, forming a seal in less than a second. It takes almost several times less time than before, the last seal, Wei Yin. Fire style, great fireball technique. A fireball with a huge diameter bombarded forward. The hot fireball raged, and the raging flames exploded instantly, destroying everything in front of it. Lei Lei didn't stop and rushed out quickly. Suddenly, there was another figure in front of him. Its shadow clone. This thunder just appeared, quickly formed a seal with both hands, fire style, great fireball technique. Lei Lei, who was charging away, looked at the incoming great fireball and disappeared immediately. Instantaneous technique. It was used instantly again. When it appeared, it was already next to the shadow clone. It cut off the head with a sword and exploded directly. Thunder's figure did not stop. While running, dazzling thunderballs appeared around him, and then those thunderballs shot away as if driven, and smashed into the surrounding trees. Bang bang, thunder and lightning exploded, and the violent thunder and lightning raged on the thick trees, as if they were attached to shining silver equipment. Then, another water avatar appeared again. There was a, whoosh, sound. Thunder instantly appeared next to the clone and pierced his water clone with a sword. If people in the Hokage world saw this, they would definitely shout out loud. Thunder is rapidly forming seals with one hand while performing ninjutsu. It is very difficult to form a seal with one hand, even for those geniuses. But Lei Lei did it easily. This is what the system gave him. Even if he has mediocre qualifications, he can do it. Soon, when Thunder used the Phoenix Sage Fire technique to break his water body again, he stopped, stood on the tree trunk, and put away his sword. He discovered that the control and application of power and physical skills were completely different. With his current 1000 points of mental value, he could maintain his high-intensity fighting with less consumption. After performing several ninjutsu and taijutsu, my body seemed not to be consumed. Lei Lei suddenly started running excitedly on the tree, sometimes jumping, sometimes rolling, constantly getting familiar with it and practicing. Lei Lei has been practicing this kind of practice since nightfall. When the time passed midnight, he ended the practice and left the seal instantly. A new day slowly came, and the sky became slightly brighter. Lei Lei woke up. After cleaning up briefly, he looked into the depths of the forest with bright eyes and said silently, it's time to hunt monsters to gain more experience points. In the woods, a figure jumped quickly, and in front of it was a level 2 Warcraft windsaber running away quickly, as if something terrifying was chasing behind it. Suddenly, with a, whoosh, sound, a figure instantly appeared next to the windsaber, holding a long sword in his hand and slashing directly towards the moving body. PFF'd, blood splashed everywhere, and the huge head of the windsaber flew high into the sky, 
but the body seemed to have not yet reacted, and still ran for a while with inertia before falling down. Congratulations to host, you killed a level 2 monster and gained 100 experience points and 50 contribution points. After hearing the words in his mind, Lele couldn't help but frown and asked, Ju Xiao Xiao, what is going on? The experience value dropped from 1000 to 100, and Thunder had a bad feeling. Host, the system will adjust the experience value and contribution value based on your strength and the strength level of the person killed. The stronger the prey is, the higher the experience value and contribution value will be, and vice versa. This is one of the rules of the system. Holy shit, how could this happen? In other words, the more level 2 monsters I kill now, the less rewards I will get. Yes, day, the thunder couldn't wait to give the system the middle finger. In the past two days, he has been almost active in this area. The magic beasts in this area are simply unlucky. It's like a god of plague has arrived. He kills the beasts on sight. He simply kills the beasts on sight, leaving no chickens or dogs behind, and the beasts cry at the sight. Since level 2 is no longer possible, let's go to the depths of the Warcraft Mountains for a walk. Thunder muttered to himself, looking up into the depths of the forest. This place belongs to the outer area of the Warcraft Mountains. The Warcraft active here are basically level 1, 2 and a small number of level 3 Warcraft, and deeper are the areas where level 3 Warcraft and above are active. But there are more dangers in the depths. Thinking of doing it, Lele quickly rushed towards the depths of the forest. After sneaking for a distance again, Lele suddenly stopped because five little red people suddenly appeared on the small map, which immediately aroused his vigilance. Lele frowned, and from a position not far from him, human voices kept coming. Who are they? Lele looked at the little red man in front of him, glanced around, and then quickly hid in the grass beside him. After Lele hid in, he looked at the crowd of mercenaries coming and going not far away. This was the main road of the Warcraft Mountains. There were usually a lot of mercenaries, but now Lele felt that something was very wrong. The five little red men seemed to be there, watching something. Looking through the grass, Lele's eyes were fixed on the group of mercenaries. After a while, his eyes suddenly shrank, and he finally understood that something was wrong. The mercenary team had no intention of leaving, but was checking every passing mercenary, seemingly looking for someone. Are you looking for me? He frowned, the small map would not mark the little red people for no reason, it must be aimed at him, but who could they be? Lele shook his head and decided to understand the situation first. Then he lurked cautiously, and squatted carefully on a lush tree trunk dozens of meters away from them. Since Lele had system mini map prompts and better detection capabilities, they didn't notice even if Lele approached them quietly. In the forest, Lele, who was hiding in the darkness, saw two or three waves of teams of little red men passing by. Thunder accidentally overheard their conversation and learned the identities of these mercenaries. Head, let's search here. If we go down further, we will reach the depths of the Warcraft Mountains. The Warcraft inside can kill us with a slap, a mercenary said with some worry. Hearing this companion's words, another mercenary's face turned ugly, and he said cursingly, well, where did that kid hide? He didn't know how high and mighty he was to offend our Black Wolf mercenary group, but Steward Chen I gave the death order and must find that fool, no matter life or death. It's been two days and I haven't found that boy. Maybe he strayed into a dangerous place and became the excrement of a monster. Hee <laughs> hee. That's not necessarily the case. That kid was able to kill an elite mercenary team of more than a dozen people. His strength must not be underestimated. Forget it, let's expand the search area. A middle-aged mercenary said calmly, seemingly the little leader of this mercenary group frowned and looked deep into the forest. Yes, after hearing their conversation, Lele was also shocked. It's the Black Wolf mercenary group. It's actually the Black Wolf mercenary group that is chasing after them. Hee <laughs> hee, it seems that they destroyed their mercenary team and really stung their hornet's nest by sending out mercenaries. Surround and kill. Hee <laughs> hee, since you have come to provoke me, I will help you. Hiding in the shadows, Lele looked at the five-man team that had gathered and gradually walked into the depths of the jungle, and sneered softly, you are also in trouble, I'll do it to you first. This mercenary team of the Black Wolf mercenary group has been stared at by Thunder for a long time. There are four junior swordsmen and one intermediate swordsman. 
With his current strength, he can easily eat them. Thunder looked at the slowly moving team in front and felt that it was moving experience points, and the more, the better. But the Thunder did not take action immediately, but patiently waited for the opportunity to take action. There must be more than just their team nearby. And from beginning to end, they didn't notice Lei Lei who was quietly following them. They basically had no counter reconnaissance capabilities, so Lei Lei tracked them very easily. Dusk, Warcraft Mountains, Vast Forest. Thunder is hidden in the dense trees. Through the gaps between the leaves, you can faintly see five figures walking slowly forward. The reason why Lei Lei didn't kill those mercenaries by force may even be because they didn't resist. But Lei Lei did not do that because it was not safe. Once exposed, Lei Lei would face the siege of the Black Wolf mercenary group. So the Thunder are waiting, waiting for their chance to make a mistake. Well, we can't continue searching aimlessly like this. The middle-aged mercenary looked at the darkening sky and suddenly raised his hand to signal, causing everyone to stop immediately. He felt that if he continued to search like this, he would be more likely to encounter danger, and he might even lose his life by then. You can't find it during the day, let alone the more dangerous night. He's just a person. He shouldn't be running very fast. Let's rest first and search tomorrow. Yes, the other mercenaries nodded. Boss, I'm going to make a convenience. A mercenary said hello and rushed towards the dense forest, seemingly unable to hold back. Lei Lei looked at the mercenary leaving the team, his eyes lit up, and he laughed sinisterly, hee hee. Then he slowly moved, jumped down from the tree, and approached the mercenary. Because of the perspective existence of the mini-map, the person's location can be easily locked. Thunder must kill him silently before he can pretend to be deceived. Concentrating his breath with all his strength, he slowly approached the mercenary, 10 meters, 5 meters away, with a thick tree firmly between them. Staring at that figure, he quickly formed a seal with one hand. Instant technique. After rushing into the dense forest, the mercenary just took out something and felt something approaching. As soon as he raised his head, he suddenly saw darkness in front of him, followed by a pain in his throat, and his consciousness quickly blurred. From the start of the thunder to the end, it only takes a few breaths. Lei Lei looked at the body that fell to the ground, sneered, and formed a seal with his hands to perform the transformation technique. After turning into the man who fell to the ground, he took off the man's sword. After a while, he slowly walked towards the other four people. The four mercenaries looked at the approaching mercenaries. One of the mercenaries smiled and cursed at the approaching companion, Why are you dawdling? Are you so slow? Could it be that you have a weak kidney? It takes so long. Talent. Before the curse could stop, the approaching mercenary smiled and shrugged, then approached him. The mercenary was about to open his mouth and continue to taunt. Suddenly, a cold light suddenly flashed across, and blood spattered. The mercenary covered his neck and looked at the mercenary in disbelief. Why? He couldn't believe that just for teasing, he suddenly attacked him. He didn't know why until his death. After Lei Lei eliminated a mercenary in lightning speed, he did not stop at all. At the moment when several mercenaries were still in a daze, his body shape suddenly changed and he swung his sword again. Poof, another mercenary didn't even have a chance to react and left with hatred. In just a few seconds, two junior swordsman mercenaries were deceived by Lei Lei and easily ended their lives. Why? The remaining two mercenaries also came to their senses and expressed doubts, but the middle-aged mercenary seemed to react faster. Suddenly he kicked the mercenary in front of him towards the charging thunder, hoping to delay the thunder. At the same time, his palm quickly passed through the cuff, and a signal flash appeared in his hand. His reaction was very quick, and he took advantage of the delay to activate the signal flare. Go to hell! After Lei Lei dealt with the mercenary, he noticed the middle-aged mercenary's movements and immediately shouted angrily, completing the seal instantly with one hand. Instantaneous technique. The figure flashed in front of him in an instant, and a punch containing ferocious power hit the middle-aged mercenary's chest hard. PFF. A mouthful of blood spurted out from the mercenary, and with the help of the power of thunder bombardment, he flew away into the distance. At the moment he fell to the ground, he used up the last bit of strength in his body to fire a signal flare. Bang! The signal flare rushed out from the palm and exploded violently in the sky. Well, do you still have humanity? 
You actually use your teammates to delay time. Lei Lei looked at the lifeless middle-aged mercenary with a gloomy face and said with some contempt. However, his expression became even more gloomy when he saw the signal flare in the sky. It was very bright in the dusk night and could be clearly seen within dozens of kilometers around it. Wow Sao, no matter how careful you are, you still underestimated these mercenaries. He cursed in a low voice, was caught off guard, and without any hesitation, Lei Lei turned around and ran away. Bang, bang, when Lei Lei turned around and ran away, flares continued to sound around him. At this moment, the mercenaries of the Black Wolf mercenary group rushed towards this side, and even other mercenaries came up to join in the fun. There, there he is, get him. The mercenaries who kept coming behind them looked at the fast-running figure in front of them, and loud shouts rang out in the forest. It looks like we're going to be surrounded. Lei Lei glanced at the figures coming from all directions, twitched the corner of his mouth, and became even more depressed. This was simply more exaggerated than poking a hornet's nest. The Warcraft mountains at dusk were noisier than usual. The loud shouts and chasing sounds of the mercenaries kept ringing over the dense forest, startling countless birds and beasts. As time went by, more and more mercenaries joined the chase, and the chasing mercenary team became larger and larger. The other mercenary teams who were originally hunting Warcraft in the Warcraft mountains looked at the large number of people rushing past in surprise. Some people couldn't help but ask, what happened? The Black Wolf mercenary group is surrounding and killing that kid. I heard that the kid has high-level skills. Someone replied, we also plan to go and take a look at the excitement to see if there is a chance. Hee <laughs> hee. Advanced skills. Upon hearing such words, the mercenaries were immediately stunned, with a flash of greed in their eyes. The temptation of high-level skills is too great. Compared with the high-level skills, the skills they practice are completely different. Let's go, let's go take a look too. Finally, someone couldn't resist the temptation, grabbed the weapon, and excitedly joined the chasing team. After running for a distance again, Lei Lei's expression suddenly changed, and a person with a terrifying aura behind him moved quickly towards this side. Looking back, I saw a middle-aged man with a gloomy face crossing the mercenary team and approaching him quickly. What a speed! Seeing Lei Lei turn around, a stern smile appeared on the middle-aged man's face, and he roared at the same time. The sound passed through the dense forest and reached Lei Ting's ears. You little fool, the people who killed my black wolf mercenary group still want to run away. You little, let's catch them without any effort. The middle-aged man looked at the increasingly powerful chasing team and suddenly laughed loudly, you can't escape from the Warcraft mountains. Listening to the middle-aged man's shout, he glanced at the mercenary team surrounding him from the corner of his eyes. His face was gloomy and he sneered, You are talking nonsense if you catch up with me. Thunder quickly jumped between the trees, twisted his body, and then rushed towards the depths of the Warcraft Mountains. Boy, deep in the Warcraft Mountains, you have no chance of survival. Not far behind him, Manager Chen looked at the direction in which Lei Lei was escaping and shouted coldly. But Lei Tingli ignored his words and speeded up a bit. Seeing that his prompt was ignored by Lei Lei, Butler Chen's expression became even more gloomy. Thunder's speed was even beyond his expectation. If they really pursued him deep into the Warcraft Mountains, although they could kill the kid, they would face considerable casualties. No, the corner of his mouth moved slightly, looking at the figure in front of him, he must stop that kid before entering the Warcraft Mountains. Thinking of this, he no longer held back, and the strong fighting energy in his body moved quickly, and the light blue fighting energy quickly moved towards his legs, and a low shout sounded slightly, Ching Feng step. As Deacon Chen finished speaking, fighting energy suddenly erupted under his feet, his feet slammed onto the ground, and his figure suddenly rushed away, more than twice as fast as before. Wow Sao, the sound of breaking wind coming from behind made Lei Lei quickly turn around. When he saw the figure quickly closing the distance, he couldn't help but be startled. Let's see how you run away. Looking at the figure getting closer and closer, a bloodthirsty sneer appeared on Deacon Chen's face. You have to run away. Turning around and cursing, Lei Lei quickly formed seals with his hands. Fire style, great fireball technique. A huge fireball quickly spewed out of the mouth and blasted towards the incoming person. Snort, looking at the oncoming great fireball, Butler Chen didn't notice it. He shouted coldly and dodged to the side. 
Sure enough, he is a magician and a martial artist. No wonder even the elite mercenary team was killed, so he can't keep them. Deacon Chen glanced at the venue destroyed by the flames, and a strange color flashed in his eyes. After letting out a cold laugh, his feet slammed onto the ground again, and his figure shot out again. After taking a few steps, looking at the running young man, his figure suddenly trembled, and his figure was like a ghost, suddenly appearing five meters behind Lei Lei. Deacon Chen looked at the lightning that was so close at hand. He unsheathed the long sword at his waist and then swung the sword towards the thunder. Boy, it's over. Deacon Chen looked at the panicked Lei Lei and said ferociously, fighting kill. Observing Lei Lei behind him with his peripheral vision, he secretly thought something bad, his face changed drastically, and he quickly formed seals with one hand. A streak of cyan fighting spirit shot out instantly, slashing towards thunder with a rapid sound of breaking through the air. You have to end it. Lei Lei felt the rapid sound of breaking through the air. As the last seal was completed, he cursed and disappeared in front of Deacon Chen. Instant technique. What kind of movement is this? Deacon Chen looked at the figure that disappeared in front of him in an instant, his pupils suddenly shrank, and his face became ugly. Level 4 martial arts Qingfeng step combined with Dou Qi slash, under a sudden close attack, I don't know how many people were killed by this combo, but now they were strangely dodged. It's like moving in an instant. Staring closely at the thunder that suddenly appeared not far away made Deacon Chen feel a wave of panic in his heart. This is not a space-based martial arts or magic. He is convinced that it is the only way to explain. Does this kid really have high-level skills? Then he stared at Lei Lei with even more eagerness. If he could get high-level skills, then the swordsman. Ha ha. Boy, you gave me too many surprises. Captain Li and the others did not die unjustly. Deacon Chen looked at Lei Lei with greed in his eyes. However, as long as you hand over the high-level skills on your body, you can be protected from death. High-level skills. Tilting his head. Lei Lei was startled, and then looked at the middle-aged man playfully. He actually mistook ninjutsu for a high-level skill. Not far away, the huge mercenary was already chasing him. He stopped not far from them and looked over with excited eyes. Hey, you want high-level skills? Lei Lei looked at the mercenaries not far away and suddenly shouted, ringing in their ears. Thunder suddenly shouted loudly, and Steward Chen's face suddenly changed. He also knew that the mercenaries behind him were chasing after them, but not only the mercenaries from the Black Wolf mercenary group, but also other mercenaries who came to watch the fun. But now, ah, there are really high-level skills. The mercenaries who caught up suddenly widened their eyes and looked shocked when they heard Thunder's loud shout. There can be no mistake. The young man admitted it. It's a good time. Staring at Lei Lei, his eyes became even hotter, and his hands clenched the weapons, ready to move. There is only one copy of the advanced technique, so who should I give it to? Lei Lei glanced at the many mercenaries playfully, and finally stopped at the middle-aged man, and suddenly smiled, leave it to you. After hearing Lei Ting's words, the expressions of the other mercenaries around him darkened, and their eyes became even more unkind as they looked at the middle-aged man and the Black Wolf mercenary group. HMPH, this is a private matter of the Black Wolf mercenary group. If he kills my mercenary team, he must pay with blood. If anyone dares to interfere, he must ask me whether the blade of the Black Wolf mercenary group is sharp. As soon as Deacon Chen finished speaking, there was a sound of swords being unsheathed instantly, and hundreds of figures looked murderously, looking coldly at the mercenaries approaching. Manager Chen naturally knew the instigation in Lei Lei's words, but he would definitely not offend these mercenaries easily. He changed his tone and continued. Of course, as long as you don't stop them, the Black Wolf mercenary group will be rewarded afterward. This was a naked threat, but the Black Wolf mercenary group had the confidence. Although the other mercenaries were not convinced, they had to take a step back when they saw the Black Wolf mercenary group with its large number of people. Hey, your plan is ruined. Hand it over. I'll save your life. After shocking the other mercenaries, Deacon Chen locked eyes with Lei Lei again. Looking at Deacon Chen who was bound to win, Lei Lei once again looked at the many frightened mercenaries, seemingly unwilling and eager, with a flash of light in his eyes. Lei Lei lowered his head slowly, as if he had accepted his fate. He turned his right hand in his sleeve, and a piece of jade appeared in his hand. This was the level 3 martial arts heavy attack found on Li Tu. 
it was of great use today. The records of the exercises in this world are not written in books, because the inheritance of many exercises can only be understood but cannot be described, and there is a huge difference with just one word. Therefore, the inheritance of exercises usually involves slowly inscribing the cultivation methods and experiences on jade through spiritual power. This is also the reason why it is difficult to see high-level exercises on the market. Lei Ting took out the jade and held it tightly, as if he was very reluctant to part with it. However, after seeing Deacon Chen's solemn look, he showed his unwillingness. Take the advanced skills. Then, he raised his palm and threw it towards the many mercenaries. Many mercenaries were stunned by the sudden change, and then the scene suddenly became chaotic. Grab it. Looking at the things thrown by Lei Lei, he did not check carefully to distinguish them. His mind was full of advanced skills. He no longer cared about the intimidation of the Black Wolf mercenary group and swarmed forward. The mercenaries of the Black Wolf mercenary group looked at each other, and they did not dare to take action against these many mercenaries. If they really fought, they would pay a heavy price. You, you are seeking death. Deacon Chen looked at the chaotic scene and was immediately furious, but he did not take action against Lei Ting. As Lei Ting said, there is only one high-level skill. If you lose it, you will really lose it. Then his hope will be gone. He dare not gamble. This is his only hope. Looking coldly at the many mercenaries who were losing their minds while snatching the skills, he thought of the hope of being promoted to sword master and could no longer bear it. Then he said to the mercenaries of the Black Wolf mercenary group, watch him. Yes, get out of my way. Deacon Chen's great swordsman strength suddenly exploded, and he rushed towards the chaotic scene instantly. Ah, ah, ah. Suddenly, figures were flying and screams continued. The mercenaries in front of him were no match for each other. They were instantly shot away and the swarming mercenaries were cleared away in just a dozen breaths. At the same time, the other mercenaries were also shocked by Butler Chen's sudden attack, with frightened expressions on their faces, and no one dared to move forward easily. The tragic situation just now is still vivid in my mind, this is the strength and deterrence of the great swordsman. HMPH, Deacon Chen snorted coldly at them, then looked towards the past with hot eyes, picked it up instantly, and began to identify it, but, he couldn't believe it, and then his face turned red, indicating that he was angry. Level 3 Martial Arts. A high, sharp, pitch-changing voice suddenly sounded. Little fool, I want to kill. Before he could finish his words, a terrifying flame suddenly broke out in the circle surrounded by the Black Wolf mercenary group. As Lei Ting expected, Butler Chen did not resist the temptation of high-level skills. The moment he moved, his right hand slowly started to move. What, don't you want high-level skills? Lei Lei asked seductively looking at the many mercenaries of the Black Wolf mercenary group who surrounded him. Boy, put your thoughts aside. The Black Wolf mercenary group will clearly distinguish rewards and punishments. The mercenaries surrounded by the group did not become disturbed by Lei Ting's words. As expected of one of the top ten mercenary groups, the discipline is strong. Lei Lei glanced coldly at Deacon Chen of Kamui. As the last seal was completed, murderous intent flashed in his eyes. Hey. I don't know if the Black Wolf mercenary group will pay pensions to your families if you die. As soon as Lei Ting finished speaking, the prepared ninjutsu spurted out instantly. Fire Style, Fire Dragon Flame Bullet The Fire Dragon Flame Bullet, which had almost condensed 100 points of spiritual value, swept away like a roaring fire dragon, carrying the scorching temperature, roaring fiercely towards the surrounded Black Wolf mercenary group. Get away, get away. Under the sudden attack, the sight of everyone in the Black Wolf mercenary group was ablaze. Before they had time to see what it was, the fire dragon arrived in a flash. Boom, the fire dragon burst out suddenly, devouring everything in front of it. The mercenaries who could not dodge were swallowed by the fire dragon. No, continuous screams sounded like thunder, waking up many mercenaries. Looking at the raging fire dragon, everyone swallowed their saliva, and their eyes flashed with schadenfreude. Isn't it very strong? Isn't it very arrogant? Look, retribution comes so quickly. Deacon Chen's face turned even brighter red. Actually, I was teased so hard. This thought made him even more uncomfortable, and anger suddenly filled his brain, making him furious and a sharper voice sounded. You, I'm going to cut you into pieces. 
His strength was no longer reserved, and the power under his feet exploded instantly, killing Thunder. However, Thunder did not give him a chance at all. While the fire dragon was raging, his other B-level ninjutsu was ready at the same time. He looked coldly at the shocked mercenary, and he had to kill him quickly, otherwise. Earth style, earth stone dragon. As Lei Lei's words fell, the ground shook, and then a huge stone dragon broke out of the ground in an instant, snaking in midair and staring at the mercenaries. There was a sense of oppression and silence. Everyone looked at the earth dragon in the sky and felt dizzy. If the huge power of the fire dragon's flame bombs shocked them to three points, the visual shock and oppression of the earth and stone dragon were even more terrifying. The earth and stone dragon in midair floated in the air as if it was being pulled. Lei Ming jumped on the dragon's head and sneered, Black Wolf Mercenary Group, take another hit from me. Go for it. As Lei Ting's words fell, earth stone dragon swooped towards the somewhat chaotic Black Wolf Mercenary Group in the encirclement. The panicked mercenaries looked up at the swooping earth dragon, as if they saw a huge boulder hitting them. Back away, back away quickly. Deacon Chen, who rushed over, looked at Tu Shilong who was diving towards the mercenaries, with red eyes, and shouted, Captain Level, attack at the same time. Fighting slash. Yes, hee hee, do you want me to scrape it? Lei Lei looked at the streaks of fighting spirit slashes coming from him, sneered, and then disappeared from the dragon's head. I won't play with you anymore. Bump, mud and gravel splashed, and the dragon's head exploded. However, the earth and stone dragon was too huge and still hit downwards with inertia. Boom, as the violent impact fell, mud filled the air, sand and gravel splashed, and cracks spread out on the ground. They stopped at the feet of the mercenaries who were more than 10 meters away. This was the first time for most of the mercenaries present to see such a shocking scene. Looking at the sand filling the air, Deacon Chen's expression was terrifyingly angry, kill, kill, kill that little fool for me. Everyone in the Black Wolf mercenary group had just woken up from the shock, and they all looked at each other. They had watched their former colleagues die tragically at the hands of thunder. They hesitated for a moment, but they still instinctively replied, yes. Revenge, kill that kid. With a loud shout, the members of the Black Wolf mercenary group crossed the dust and killed in the direction Lei Lei escaped from. He's over there, Chase. With a sudden sound, everyone in the Black Wolf mercenary group rushed towards the figure that was escaping quickly in front of them. Are we going to follow? The other mercenaries looked at the Black Wolf mercenary group that was killing them, and hesitated for a moment. The battle scene just now was too exciting, but the danger was also great, because that direction was deep into the Warcraft mountains, at. Why don't you go? There are so many of us, what else do we have to worry about? That's right, this scene is really rare, hee <laughs> hee. The Black Wolf mercenary group just lost almost a dozen people, which is really satisfying. Walk, let's go, what are you talking about? Follow us. The miserable situation of the Black Wolf mercenary group is worth seeing. That's right, follow me quickly. After saying that, the mercenaries chased after him one after another. However, only a very ordinary mercenary did not follow. He sneered and whispered we may lose. However, a cold voice sounded in his mind, trigger the system mission, make a high profile name in this world, and kill most of the enemies in front of you with your flesh and blood body. The reward, the body of a junior immortal. What, the body of a junior immortal? This mercenary is the transformation of thunder. He used the teleportation technique on the dragon head to hide his figure in the scene of the earth and stone dragon bombardment. Then he quickly formed a seal and used shadow clone, and at the same time transformed into an ordinary mercenary. The soldiers were hidden aside. The voice that suddenly pointed the direction was him calling out, using shadow clone to prepare to lead the black wolf mercenary group deep into the Warcraft mountains, and he himself was about to leave. Unexpectedly, the system did not play according to the routine. The body of a junior immortal, the body of a junior immortal, wow, ha ha, continue, continue. Nine speakers, pick up. Black Wolf Mercenary Group. It's really an NPC that brushes skills. Lei Lei's eyes were bright and he quickly chased after him. The afterglow of dusk gradually fell, and the chase and escape were repeated again in the Warcraft Mountains, and the culprit of this incident was following behind as if watching a play. But Shadow Clone is even more shameless. 
From time to time, it will send a great fireball to the back or attack the active warcraft. However, the Black Wolf mercenary group was in bad luck. Those monsters kept attacking the pursuers behind them, but they continued to suffer casualties due to the attacks of the monsters. After running for a distance again, Lele looked at the crescent moon rising in the sky and couldn't help but smile bitterly. To the persevering mercenaries, Lele said that I admire you. He was even more impressed by Shadow Clone. Lele never thought that Shadow Clone, which would be scattered when attacked, could persist for so long. What he didn't even expect was that Shadow Clone would carry out his escape instructions to the end. When he saw that he was about to catch up behind them, he directly used the teleportation technique to distance himself. Anyway, it was a chance to avoid contact with them. Well, are there any members of the Black Wolf mercenary group left behind? While slowly chasing, Thunder's mini-map suddenly showed a dozen little red men ahead. Lei Lei slowed down, carefully leaned over, and hid his body behind a big tree. He then raised his eyes and looked over. Hey, they are actually the personnel left behind after the battle with Warcraft. At this time, in the open space just a few dozen meters away, fifteen mercenaries covered in bloodstains were resting, led by two intermediate swordsmen. Looking at the mess on the ground and the scars on their bodies, there were four dead monsters lying next to them. The blood that had not yet solidified obviously had just ended the battle. Among them, ten were injured. Their injuries were not serious due to the attack by the monsters. They were resting and recovering their strength at the moment. But they never thought that there was someone watching them. Ha ha, what a coincidence. Lei Lei looked at the group of people from the Black Wolf mercenary group in front of him, and a playful smile suddenly appeared on his face. Quick victory. Thinking of this, Lei Lei clasped his hands together, magnet style. As the thunder seal ended, sand and iron continued to condense rapidly into the air. Such movements also alerted the resting mercenaries. Well, why do I feel that the ground is shaking? As this voice sounded, it also attracted the attention of others. Is it a large monster coming? Generally, only large monsters walking will cause the ground to shake. What are you thinking? If it was a large monster, it would have been discovered long ago. Be careful, the temporary leader here immediately scolded him, but he also became nervous. Yes, the mercenaries who were resting suddenly became alert and held their weapons with their right hands. However, as soon as they touched the weapons, the weapons began to tremble. What's going on? My weapon is trembling, as if it's about to break free and fly out. But before he finished speaking, he was caught off guard, and whoosh, whoosh, weapons seemed to be pulled by some kind of force and flew out quickly, disappearing into the night. This, these mercenaries, eyes suddenly widened, and they became even more afraid of this incomprehensible thing. Hold your weapon, be careful, there are enemies. Whoever is pretending to be a ghost, come out. Hey, there are actually people who are sober. Lei Lei mocked and walked out slowly, with weapons hanging in the sky above him. Looking at the people coming, there was a sudden commotion. The mercenaries even widened their eyes, their throats moved up and down as they looked at the weapons suspended in the void. Weapons. Our weapons were actually controlled by him. Want a weapon? Upon hearing this, Lei Lei shrugged, then waved his backhand and said calmly, then I'll give it back to you. As soon as he finished speaking, an iron sword suspended in the air suddenly shot out towards the mercenary. Whoosh! The man had no time to react, and with a muffled sound, the iron sword instantly pierced his neck. After struggling for a few times, he fell down weakly. The sudden change caused the mercenaries to panic. Looking at the empty weapon, no one dared to take action. Who are you, and why did you attack us? If I collide with you, please show your dignity. Ha ha, you are so noble, but you are saying such things now, but when you surrounded me, you shouted to fight and kill, without leaving any mercy. I also want you to understand clearly and see who I am. After saying that, Lei Lei released his transformation technique and looked at them with a mocking look on his face. Ah, it's you. Looking at Lei Lei's familiar appearance, he suddenly became frightened and shouted, How is it possible? You're not in front. When he said this, he felt like he was stuck. Then, he looked at Lei Lei in disbelief. We were deceived, and were actually played around by the clones. This man obviously knew part of Thunder's information, his eyes instantly fell into deathly silence, and his whole body trembled. Correct answer. 
But there is no reward. Lei Lei said lightly. Isn't it refreshing when you chase me? However, now that the situation has changed, do you have any regrets? Lei Lei smiled brightly but was extremely cold, looking at these mercenaries with a fixed look. Escape, separate and run away. As soon as the man finished speaking, he turned around and ran away without any hesitation. Escape, since I can be exposed in front of you, have you escaped? Looking at the mercenary who turned around without any hesitation, Lele smiled, and his body did not move. Instead, he looked at them coldly and said with murderous intent, It's too late, the giant sand iron needle. As soon as he finished speaking, the giant sand iron needles arranged around him suddenly shot out, making the sound of breaking wind. Spears, so many spears, countless iron spears mixed with their personal weapons were fired at them densely. No, these mercenaries did not have much fighting power, and after the battle, they were even less able to resist. Under the attack of the iron spears, screams rang out one after another, and they fell to the ground one after another and died. Demon, you are a devil, you must die a good death, ah! As the screams stopped, the fleeing figure also fell down. HMPH, Black Wolf Mercenary Group, this is just the beginning. Lei Lei glanced at the motionless body on the ground, then turned into a black shadow and chased forward, where there were still unfinished mission objectives. Ha ha, Deacon Chen looked at the cliff and canyon that appeared in front of him, burst into laughter, and shouted coldly, Little fool, let's see how you can escape, run away, keep running away. Deacon Chen's tone seemed to be filled with resentment. He looked at the figure who stopped in front of him, Why, can't you fly over? The casualties suffered by the Black Wolf mercenary group along the way were not small. Seeing that they were about to go deep into the Warcraft Mountains, he was already retreating. If he really went deep into the Warcraft Mountains, the casualties would be even greater. This was something he could not bear no matter what. If there were really a large number of casualties, he would directly face the accountability of the Imperial Branch. This was something he didn't want to face and didn't want to face. However, he never expected that this kid would actually run to the cliff canyon. Ha ha, little fool, let's see how you can escape this time. Deacon Chen stood slowly not far from Lei Lei with a ferocious expression. With a wave of his arm, the mercenaries coming from behind surrounded Lei Lei in a semicircle on the cliff. Oops, what should I do, it's going to end. After the figure glanced at the cliff dozens of meters wide in front of him, he didn't show any panic. Instead, he shrugged his shoulders and even looked weird, as if he was very indifferent to the surrounding mercenaries. Little fool, what, have you given up resistance? Deacon Chen took a step forward, looked at the figure who showed no signs of panic, and said coldly, I don't believe it, you can still grow wings for me to fly. Ha ha, I really don't have wings to fly over, but my mission is completed. The figure seemed to be smiling but not smiling. After running for such a long time, he should be safe. Then he looked at Deacon Chen with a mischievous look and asked, Old guy, is your heart okay? I don't know if your heart can bear it later. Looking at Butler Chen with a ferocious face, the figure seemed to care about his body. But Deacon Chen just looked at him coldly and did not become angry because of his words, as if he were looking at a dead person. Boring. The figure looked at Butler Chen who had no response, and said calmly, Come on, I will completely disappoint you. Master Deacon, Kill him and avenge our brothers. You're still so arrogant when you're surrounded. Kill him. Hearing Lei Ting's words, it seemed that there was nothing that could be done to him, which instantly angered many mercenaries, who immediately started to drink angrily. Deacon Chen looked at the figure, his expression still as cold as ever. For a while, he seemed to feel relieved when he saw that Lei Lei was not moving. Shameless little fool, this is your burial place. A sneer suddenly appeared on the corner of Deacon Chen's mouth. He couldn't wait to kill the figure in front of him. He stamped his feet on the ground and shot out wildly. Die, he drew his sword extremely fast, hitting Thunder's heart directly. Humph, the figure felt the sharp sound of breaking wind in front of him, but he didn't panic at all, or even showed any nervous expression. Kai, stung, Deacon Chen was overjoyed, but his expression immediately changed drastically. Deacon Chen's speed was very fast, but the figure's speed was not slow either. Ha ha, I almost, did it. The figure looked at Butler Chen's ugly face, adding fuel to the fire again. Take my blow, 
fire style, great fireball technique. The figure did not wait for Deacon Chen to react, and quickly rushed towards Deacon Chen, and then spit out a scorching fireball with a diameter of 3 meters from his mouth, blasting towards Deacon Chen like a cannonball. Breaking through the air, Deacon Chen suddenly swung his long sword, and two or three sword beams formed in front of him, and then slashed towards the fireball. At the moment of contact, the fireball was instantly chopped open. Boom! With a loud noise, the fireball exploded. In the place of the explosion, soil, sand and gravel flew everywhere. In an instant, Deacon Chen's figure suddenly disappeared. Die! Deacon Chen suddenly swooped down from the air and stabbed the figure in the head. The figure did not resist or run away. Instead, he raised his head and smiled mockingly at Butler Chen. Bang! Deacon Chen's long sword struck without any hindrance, but there was no blood splashing, no screams, and no falling body, only the figure that was stabbed and disappeared in an instant. Deacon Chen couldn't believe his eyes. He stared blankly at the sword in front of him with wide eyes. He seemed to want to find some blood, even just a little. No, Deacon Chen seemed to be going crazy. Only now did he understand that what the man just said was not a taunt or a plea for mercy before death, but advice to him. What's going on? It's over. We've been tricked. It's the clone who's chasing us all the way. Clone. That's right, it's that person's clone. Everyone in the Black Wolf mercenary group was also furious. The figure they had worked so hard to chase turned out to be his clone. They had paid a heavy price on the road to force him into such a desperate situation, but now the figure suddenly disappeared in front of them. Each one of them was even more depressed and their expressions were extremely miserable. Deacon Chen could no longer suppress the anger in his heart. His anger surged and he spit out a mouthful of blood. Deacon Chen, what's wrong? Are you hurt? When everyone in the Black Wolf mercenary group saw Deacon Chen suddenly vomiting blood, they immediately surrounded him. Hee <laughs> hee. I think he's angry. The other mercenaries who followed immediately began to gloat. That's right. No one can bear the success of blows. That boy is indeed very capable. He actually deceived all of us with just one clone. I wonder if their Black Wolf mercenary group will still be arrogant in the future. Ha ha. What are you talking about? When many mercenaries of the Black Wolf mercenary group heard these taunts, they naturally refused and started scolding them. Why are you? the Black Wolf mercenary group, being fooled. Do you want to take your anger out on us? You fool, you are looking for death. Stop. Deacon Chen looked at the mercenaries in front of him coldly with a gloomy face and blood on the corners of his mouth, but he finally held back. Although these mercenaries are all a mob, if there is a conflict, the Black Wolf mercenary group will also suffer casualties. The top priority now is to find that little fool. Let's go. Deacon Chen said the word coldly without saying anything else. Yes, it's a pity that there was no fight. Lei Lei, who was hiding on the side, looked at the two sides who almost had a conflict and suddenly felt a little regretful. If he wasn't worried about system limitations, he would really want to go up and provoke a fight between the two sides. However, Lei Lei looked at the Black Wolf mercenary group who had gathered together and put down their guard. His eyes flashed sharply, and his figure jumped down from the tree and rushed towards the gathered people of the Black Wolf mercenary group. Fire style, fire dragon flame bullet. The thunder that turned into a fleeting image jumped from the air, and a terrifying fire dragon instantly spurted out from its mouth, sweeping forward. Boom, the terrifying fire dragon suddenly attacked, and many people in the already low morale Black Wolf mercenary group did not react and watched blankly as the fire dragon swept over them. No, the scream suddenly disappeared under the terrifying flames of the fire dragon. Congratulations to host, you killed 18 junior swordsmen and gained 900 experience points and 450 contribution points. The sudden attack shocked everyone. It's him, it's him. It's actually him. He didn't run, he actually hid aside. The other mercenaries looked at the tragic situation of the Black Wolf mercenary group. After coming back to their senses, they immediately looked at the lonely figure illuminated by the flames with burning eyes. There was even more admiration in his heart. Asking themselves, facing the powerful Black Wolf mercenary group, they could only retreat, but today, they were broken by this young man. At this time, this young man seemed to have become their spiritual support. At such a young age, he has the strength to dare to fight hard. 
The people in the Black Wolf mercenary group seemed to be frightened, and their spirits and spirits were completely shattered by this blow. The endless methods they used were simply their nightmare. If there was a regret medicine in the world, they would not easily provoke this mysterious person, juvenile. Deacon Chen was first shocked, then angry, and then looked at that figure and turned into a crazy murderous intention. Kill him, must kill him. There was only this voice in his mind. At this moment, there was only thunder in his eyes, and he didn't even pay attention to the tragic situation of the Black Wolf mercenary group. Kill, kill him, Deacon Chen said sternly. Deacon Chen's shout immediately woke up everyone in the Black Wolf mercenary group. These mercenaries held the weapons in their hands tightly and then cautiously moved closer to Thunder. This will be a close call. Go, kill him. Deacon Chen stared at this figure, as if he wanted to see through him, so he could feel relieved at this time. This is the real body, kill him. Kill. Hearing these words, the mercenaries suppressed the fear in their hearts and quickly killed towards Thunder. Hey, come on, let me have a good fight. Lei Lei stared indifferently at these mercenaries who were shouting to kill. They were definitely experienced mercenaries. They were like killing machines and their strength was definitely not weak. Kill. These mercenaries were still at a certain distance from thunder before, but now they are closer, their shining swords full of killing. There was a murderous intent on the corner of Lei Lei's mouth, and he quickly formed seals with his hands. Shadow Clone Jutsu. The same figure appeared next to him again, and then formed seals at the same time. Lightning style, thunderball, fire style, phoenix sage fire technique, fire style, great fireball technique, lightning style, thunderball. At this time, his firepower was fully activated, and with the ninjutsu, he continued to bombard the mercenaries who rushed up. The thunder and lightning released by the thunderball instantly covered a three-meter range, killing and paralyzing the mercenaries within the range. The mercenaries who were paralyzed by the electric current exploded by the thunderball were then carried away by the bombardment of the fireball. Under the bombardment of this set of ninjutsu combos, mercenaries continued to fall, especially those targeted by the thunderballs, who were almost declared dead. But it still didn't stop them from having the courage to kill thunder. Lei Lei looked at the mercenaries getting closer and closer, glanced at Shadow Clone, and formed seals with his hands again. Earth Style, Earth Stone Dragon. Fire Style, Fire Dragon Flame Bullet. 2B level ninjutsu blasted forward in an instant, 1 plus 1 equals 2, but under the blow of two powerful ninjutsu, the amount was far greater than 2. I, the nearest mercenary widened his eyes when he saw the Earth Stone Dragon and Fire Dragon bombarding him. He turned around and ran away in the next second. Ah, get away quickly. Pick me up, I don't want to die. Seeing the earth stone dragon that could destroy everything in the monstrous fire, many mercenaries within the scope of the attack were so frightened that they lost their minds and fled quickly, instinctively avoiding the surroundings. The earth and stone dragon destroyed all obstacles in front of it, and then the fire dragon burned everything, leaving only screams and despair. Ah, no. Chapter 51 some people died instantly in the terrifying impact of the earth and stone dragon, but those who were injured were still twisting and struggling in the flames, screaming pitifully from their mouths, which was very miserable. Many people escaped by chance, but they were still sprinkled with sparks from the fire dragon. Their bodies were instantly ignited by the flames, igniting a raging fire, and they quickly slapped the flames on their bodies. Save me, save me. Their voices were shrill and screaming, and the way they ran challenged everyone's visual nerves. Ah, save me. Those who were not burned to death jumped directly into the crowd and rushed to others for help. Many mercenaries suddenly fell into commotion. Ah, idiot, don't come here. One person was hit, and the flames began to spread on his body. The person quickly kicked away the person who was rushing towards him, and frantically beat the ignited flames on his body. Fight the fire put out the fire with earth. There is no water here, and they are not magicians. There is only soil. Many people bombarded the ground with weapons in order to get more sand and soil to cover the flames. Some people even took out their weapons and opened the gate to release water. Although these lucky ones did not die under the bombardment of the fire dragon, they still had large burns on their bodies. They fell to the ground and kept wailing. In Lei Lei's mind, the notification sounds from the nine speakers were constantly refreshing. 
With this blow, the mercenaries who came up to fight were completely defeated. Even the senior swordsman who escaped from the back showed fear on his face. There were more than 50 corpses lying on the ground. Group kill. Under Ninjutsu's attack, the group kill was successful. Deacon Chen, who was a hundred meters away from Lei Lei, had a gloomy face full of fear, looking at Lei Lei in disbelief. At that moment, he felt as if the sky and the earth had changed color, and his eyes were filled with flames. Oh my god, the magic this young man can use is probably nothing more than high-level magic, right? Seeing the tragic situation in front of them, the mercenaries onlookers rubbed their eyes as if they couldn't believe the facts before them. This hell-like scene is actually real. Fire element, earth element, and even thunder element. This young man possesses three elements. Three elements, what a terrifying physique. Hee <laughs> hee, the Black Wolf mercenary group is in dire straits now. The Black Wolf mercenary group simply ignored their gloating, and now they only saw the demon illuminated by the fire. Three elements of magic, Deacon Chen looked at Lei Lei, his voice trembling. Why are you scared? The battle has just begun. Lei Lei looked at Butler Chen with sharp eyes and started to mock. Deacon Chen's eyes widened as he stared at Lei Lei, and his breathing quickened a bit. Are you scared? Ha ha. No, at this moment, he was very angry. He looked at Thunder angrily. Because he was excited by being teased by his clone, he gave wrong instructions, causing huge casualties to the Black Wolf mercenary group. The sudden magic attacks launched by Thunder were difficult for junior and intermediate swordsmen to dodge. He never thought that Thunder's magic would be so powerful. The magic one after another seemed to require no mental support. It is impossible to understand, but there is no need to understand. The Black Wolf mercenary group was under continuous magic attacks by Thunder, including one senior swordsman, ten intermediate swordsmen, and more than fifty junior swordsmen who fell to the magic attacks. The senior swordsman could only be regarded as unlucky. He was hit by a thunderball and his body was paralyzed. Finally, he fell to the double blow of the Earth Stone Dragon and the Fire Dragon Fire Bullet. It can be said that hundreds of mercenaries suffered heavy losses. However, their strength should not be underestimated. The elite are basically there, three senior swordsmen, more than ten intermediate swordsmen, and about twenty junior swordsmen. This is a very elite force. Some of them have scars, but their high-end combat power is still there. The other mercenaries standing hundreds of meters away were still looking at this side in shock. In their eyes, the magic bombardment just now was an extremely spectacular scene. Do you think that adult can win? Looking at the miserable situation of the Black Wolf mercenary group, it seems that Thunder has reversed the situation abruptly. For these mercenaries, this is an unbelievable fact. After all, they can only lie down and be beaten. It's really possible, but I don't know how this adult will respond to the next high-end combat attack. After witnessing Thunder's powerful strength, these mercenaries quickly changed their titles to adult. After all, it was so hurtful to call them boy and boy. In the mercenary world, strength is paramount. The more powerful a person is, the more they are admired. Let's just watch. This gentleman has no intention of leaving. The next battle will be even more cruel. Yes, we'll see. I believe he will also perform miracles. Although the strength of the Black Wolf mercenary group is still there, looking at the confident look of that adult gave them confidence. Who are you? Deacon Chen looked at Lei Lei with blazing eyes, wanting to swallow him alive. Ha ha, does it matter now? Lei Lei sneered. You, the Black Wolf mercenary group, are causing trouble, and it's your own fault. Ha ha, yes. Deacon Chen grinned. You can't die as a mercenary, that's not important. Either you die or I die today. You are wrong again. You must be the ones who die. Lei Lei said solemnly. HMPH. What a shameless statement. Kill, kill him, avenge the brothers. Deacon Chen's face suddenly darkened, and he shouted urgently with murderous intent. Snort. Thunder moved faster, and his target was instantly locked on the injured mercenaries. These injured mercenaries were basically junior swordsmen and intermediate swordsmen. The pain of being burned by the flames constantly stimulated their nerves, and their conscious and physical reactions were not that fast. Thunder rushed to these struggling mercenaries almost instantly, shouted coldly, raised the sword in his right hand, and swung it quickly. PFF'd. The mercenary felt his eyes go dark and lost consciousness. Flash sale. 
But Lei Lei didn't stop at all, and the figure started to move again, quickly forming seals with his left hand. Lightning style, Thunderball. As Thunder was running, three Thunderballs were instantly released. The mercenaries looked at the oncoming Thunderballs and jumped to dodge, but everything happened too fast. Before they could adjust their bodies, they were hit by the Thunderballs, middle. The Thunderball exploded instantly, and the flash of high voltage current ended his life in an instant, and the exploded current enveloped the other mercenaries around him at the same time. These mercenaries were immediately paralyzed by the electric current, and their bodies seemed to be frozen, unable to move. How could the thunder give up such a good opportunity? Fire style, Phoenix Sage fire technique. Then small fireballs were continuously spit out by the thunder, and the flames shot out, like sparks flying in the air, directly blasted towards the paralyzed mercenaries in front. These fireballs were like cannonballs, naming the mercenaries one by one and killing them to death. Another six mercenaries were killed instantly, neatly. During this period, the remaining members of the Black Wolf mercenary group reacted. Three cold rays of light came through the sky, and danger suddenly enveloped Thunder. Thunder swiftly swung his sword to resist. Dang dang dang. The three senior swordsmen rushed over and attacked Lei Lei, but Lei Lei moved his left hand while wielding his sword to resist, and seals were quickly formed. Instant technique. The figure disappeared in front of their eyes in an instant. When it appeared, it had already broken into the ranks of junior swordsmen and intermediate swordsmen, swung its sword to kill, and exploded with strange power. Quick, spread, poof. In an instant, the heads of the two mercenaries flew up, and blood splashed. At this time, Lei Lei's eyes are particularly bright and his mind is particularly clear. Before he has completely cleaned up these junior swordsmen and intermediate swordsmen, he cannot be entangled by the senior swordsman, otherwise there will be endless harassment and trouble waiting for him. Therefore, his purpose is very clear, giving priority to destroying the cornerstone of the mercenary group. Lei Lei looked at the mercenaries who quickly dispersed. These mercenaries had experienced countless life and death battles. This was not a reaction of their brains or their strength, but an instinctive reaction of the body after encountering danger. Hide, have you ever been able to hide? Lei Lei taunted, his left hand had completed the seal, and then fireballs were quickly blasted at them. Fire style, Phoenix Sage fire technique. Boom, boom, boom. The continuous fireballs were like rapid fire cannons, rapidly firing shells towards the target. Bang, bang. The junior swordsman who reacted slowly was instantly hit by the fireball and fell down screaming. The intermediate swordsman moved to the side to avoid the attack trajectory of the fireball. Did you hide? Looking at the mercenaries avoiding the fireball, Lei Lei snorted coldly. And at this moment, an incredible scene happened. The flying fireball actually changed the direction of attack as the mercenaries evaded, as if growing eyes, biting them tightly. What kind of magic is this? The mercenaries locked by the fireball all looked extremely ugly. Now they were in a dilemma. They could either use their bodies to withstand the fireball attack, or knock the fireball away. But, can you escape? But these two options are obviously not the best choices for their strength. Fight. Seeing that they couldn't escape, the mercenaries made a quick choice, their fighting spirit surged, and they swung their weapons towards the fireball. Bang bang. The moment the weapon hit the fireball, the flames burst out. Some mercenaries who did not escape in time were directly burned by the high temperature carried by the sparks, or were directly ignited by the flames and turned into a burning person. Ah, it burned me to death. Help me, put out the fire. How could Lei Lei, who had been prepared early, let go of this chaotic scene? His figure flashed in an instant, appearing next to a mercenary ignited by flames like a ghost. He held a long sword in his hand and slashed towards his neck. The mercenary was also ruthless, with a flash of madness in his eyes. Regardless of his burning body, he swung his weapon towards thunder. This is purely a life-for-life life style of play. A fierce murderous intention flashed in Thunder's eyes, strange power exploded, and the sword that swept past flashed instantly, pff With a sound, a head flew high, with a look of madness in its pupils. Little fool, I'll kill you, ah! A mercenary who came around for rescue had blood-red eyes and murderous intent. He was almost crazy. He swept across with a knife and wanted to cut off Lei Ting. However, Lei Ting swung his sword to stop him. For a moment, 
the sword could not move forward. Every cent. Go to hell. Another mercenary holding a sword took the opportunity to slash the back of Lele's Lei head with his sword. However, Lele's Lei back head seemed to have eyes. He quickly formed a seal with one hand and used the substitution technique instantly. Thunder's figure suddenly disappeared in front of their eyes, and the sweeping sword suddenly lost its strength to resist, and it swept into the chest of the mercenary who was wielding the sword. The mercenary trembled violently. Puff! A stream of blood arrows spurted out from his chest and hit the face of the sword-wielding mercenary. He looked at the sword in his hand and was completely stunned. The sword that slashed his partner's chest was still in his hand. He never dreamed that one day something like this would happen, and he would watch his partner die tragically in his own hands. Ah, the mouth opened wide, as if unable to make any sound, leaving only a hoarse sound of awe, and then rushed towards thunder like crazy. Puff, it was clean and neat, with a splash of blood, and the thunder directly pierced the mercenary's head. The mercenary fell down slowly, his eyes filled with relief. Only death might free him. In a short period of time, the mercenaries around Thunder were almost cleared. What happened was that in just a short period of time, a dozen people fell to the ground. These were experienced mercenaries who lived in a sea of knives and fire. The junior swordsmen and intermediate swordsmen were almost slaughtered in front of Thunder, without any resistance. But Lei Lei's figure also paused here, and there was a sound of breaking through the air behind him. Die! Deacon Chen rushed directly behind Lei Lei and slashed with his sword. Thunder suddenly turned around and waved his sword at the same time. Block block block. The two of them exchanged swords, and the three senior swordsmen immediately seized the opportunity, stepped forward, and slashed at Lei Lei, who was entangled by Deacon Chen. Danger. At this time, Lei Ting was entangled by Deacon Chen. He was unable to dodge in time and could not use ninjutsu. He saw the cold light approaching. Lei Lei's expression changed, and magnet style was activated instantly. The three weapons that were used to kill suddenly lost control and moved to both sides, as if they were pulled by some kind of force. PFF. There was a splash of blood, and then Lei Lei's figure instantly disappeared from the place, and was already more than 10 meters away when he appeared. Butler Chen was furious as he looked at the figure disappearing in front of him. The chance to kill him was gone. He was just stabbed, but only injured. What the hell? The other three senior swordsmen stared at the weapons in their hands, wondering why the weapons they were aiming at Thunder had deflected for no reason and lost this opportunity. Lei Lei glanced sideways at his left arm, and saw a palm-long wound, with flesh and blood rolling around, and blood flowing out. In that confrontation just now, Lei Lei was almost restrained by Deacon Chen, and his life was almost in danger. He would not use magnet style easily, so he had to use it. Magnet style is his trump card, he doesn't want to expose it easily, and relying too much on magnet style will not help his growth. But if faced with life and death, there are no trump cards that cannot be used. At this time, after a high-intensity battle, Lele's mental value was less than 200 points. The sound of the nine horns never sounded, and his mission was not completed. Magnet style requires too much mental energy, so it's a quick decision. Thunder's mind flashed instantly. There was only one chance, and my heart suddenly became cruel. Magnet style. Sandite sugar. As the thunder seal stopped, sand and iron-like waves appeared out of thin air in an instant. In the blink of an eye, the sand and iron formed countless fine needles and shot towards the four deacons Chen at high speed. The sudden attack of Lei Lei caught Deacon Chen and others by surprise. They were shocked when they saw the densely packed small iron needles that were shooting towards them like rain. This kind of range attack can no longer be avoided. It's too late. Break through the air. Deacon Chen's face was fierce, and he waved the long sword in his hand, striking with fighting spirit one after another, continuously destroying the attacking hairy needles. But the three senior swordsmen next to him were miserable. After using Do Chi Slash, they were unable to follow up. Although they kept swinging their weapons to destroy the iron needles, there were too many and they were constantly hit by the subsequent fine sand iron needles. Although it is not fatal for the moment, the body is still in great pain. This kind of attack is simply not something that human flesh and blood can resist. Chance. Lei Lei looked at the three injured senior swordsmen, holding the long sword in his right hand and quickly forming a seal with his left hand, blinking body technique. 
Lei Ting's reaction speed was so fast that he arrived at the side of a senior swordsman almost instantly. This senior swordsman was also a ruthless character. Under the torture of fine sand iron needles, he actually raised his sword and confronted Lei Ting head on. His whole body seemed to be stained red with blood, and he seemed to be inspired with a fierce force. He swung his knife towards thunder, almost with the belief of death. Bang! The swords collided, and the already injured senior swordsman staggered, almost losing his balance and falling down. Die! After failing to hit the target, Lei Lei swung his sword again, and at the same time his strange power exploded. Ha ha! You should die too! The man fell into madness, gave up all defenses, and stabbed Lei Lei with his backhand. PFF! PFFT! Two blood flowers splashed up almost at the same time. Lei Lei cut off the head of the senior swordsman cleanly and neatly, but Lei Lei was also swept by his sword, and a long wound almost opened on his chest. The flesh and blood rolled around and blood flowed horizontally. But Lei Lei acted as if nothing was wrong, without even looking at him, he quickly turned around and swung his sword to block Deacon Chen. His mental energy is almost used up and he cannot use it easily anymore. It is his last resort to save his life. Can't you use ninjutsu? Can't you kill people? Swing your sword and chop it down. One sword, two swords. Ha ha, come on. Lei Lei laughed loudly and fought wildly with Deacon Chen. Thanks to the Grandmaster's physical skills, Lei Lei's swords were faster and heavier than each other, completely exchanging injuries for injuries. Lei Lei is not worried at all, he will not die anyway. Deacon Chen felt the physical trauma looked at Lei Lei's indifferent expression, and swung his sword to kill him again. So fast. Oh my god. My eyes can hardly keep up with their speed. There were many high-level swordsmen and intermediate swordsmen present. Although I knew there was a big gap between great swordsmen, I didn't expect the gap to be so big. It's so fast and my eyes can't keep up, so how can I fight? The eyes of everyone in the Black Wolf mercenary group were filled with fighting spirit again. In just a few breaths, the two of them fought dozens of times at the same time, leaving scars on both sides at the same time. But the thunder felt even more tragic. The next moment, a figure suddenly attacked Lei Ting, who was fighting with Deacon Chen. Sneak attack. And it's a sneak attack from a high-level swordsman. HMPH. Lei Lei's eyes were fierce, his strange power exploded, and he knocked back Deacon Chen with one sword. The sneak attack was too sudden. In the battle with Deacon Chen, Lei Lei didn't have a faster reaction time, so he couldn't use ninjutsu to dodge, and it was too late. Lei Lei leaned back and struck a sword with his backhand. PFF'd. The cold blade instantly penetrated through Thunder's belly. PFF'd. Then there was another sound, and Lei Lei's long sword also pierced the throat of this senior swordsman. Lei Lei not only did not hide, but launched a counterattack, which was a life-changing attack. The fighting suddenly stopped. Ha ha, Deacon Chen looked at Lei Ting's pierced abdomen, his face full of excitement, ha ha, we still won. The other mercenaries who were not dead also stopped moving and looked at Thunder with a complicated expression. The battle seemed to be over at this moment. The abdomen was penetrated by the blade, which is a fatal injury. If not treated in time, he will bleed to death, not to mention the important part of the abdomen, the internal organs are almost pierced, this is already an incurable injury. The battle is over, extremely tragic. Ahem. Deacon Chen was so excited that his injuries were affected and his breathing became rapid. The mercenaries standing hundreds of meters away looked regretful at the same time. The young man with great strength still fell in the cruel war of attrition. Alas, I was still too young and fell under siege after all. If it were stronger, it wouldn't be so passive. They also saw that Thunder's power was almost exhausted, and they had to start a close battle. Who says otherwise? The rising genius is about to fall. It's over. Little fool, as long as I kill you, the heavy price paid will be worth it. Deacon Chen's face was extremely relaxed. He glanced at the corpses on the ground. These were all his men, but he didn't feel any heartache. If you can kill Thunder, it will be worth it. Ha ha, don't be too happy too soon. Lei Lei stood up, grabbed the knife inserted in his abdomen, frowned briefly, and then quickly pulled it out. Poof, blood was flowing everywhere, and Lei Lei looked at the blood value, there were still 100 points, and he could fight again. He looked at Butler Chen with sharp eyes, as if he was mocking him. You, you, 
Deacon Chen looked at Lei Ting's movements and finally realized something was wrong. Lei Ting looked like he was about to die. He was almost like a normal person, except that his face was a bit paler and his body scars were more terrifying. This is not human at all. How is that possible? What, are you surprised? Lei Lei looked at the shocked Deacon Chen, pointing his sword at him, and said calmly, you can't believe it even more. Deacon Chen was more than shocked, he couldn't believe his eyes. The abdomen was penetrated and the chest was scratched. Are these fatal injuries as if they were nothing? Just look a little pale. What the hell kind of monster is this? Why isn't he dead yet? Do you people still dare to fight? Lei Lei glanced at the mercenaries of the Black Wolf mercenary group, only one senior swordsman who had been severely injured was left. The intermediate swordsman plus the junior swordsman, including those still screaming and moaning on the ground, there were only a dozen people. And there are less than eight mercenaries who can continue fighting. These people were already frightened. Looking at Lei Lei's sweeping gaze, they lowered their heads one by one. However, the sound of the nine horns still did not sound, and the task was still not completed. After Lei Lei glanced around, his eyes finally focused on Deacon Chen. Little fool. Deacon Chen's face became extremely ugly, and he gritted his teeth. Fear arose in his heart. He had been hit by Lei Lei in a desperate manner, leaving scars all over his body, and his whole body was covered in blood. On the contrary, Thunder seemed to be seriously injured, much heavier than him, but he looked like someone who was fine. At this moment, he really wanted to retreat, but he couldn't. Because I can't bear the responsibility of abandoning my subordinates. Come on, let's fight to the death. Lei Lei stared at Deacon Chen, arrogantly. Deacon Chen's expression changed, but Thunder moved instantly. For the mission, kill. I don't believe that I, a great swordsman, can't kill you. Deacon Chen shouted loudly, the fighting energy in his body circulated, and he stepped forward to meet him. Lei Lei's eyes were fixed on Deacon Chen. He did not plan to use ninjutsu because his mental value was about to bottom out. He also had to be prepared for other people's sudden attacks. He also pounced directly on Deacon Chen. PFF'd, the cold blade pierced through Lei Ting's body again, but Lei Ting pounced on Deacon Chen and hugged him. Deacon Chen was stunned. He had never seen such a life-threatening lunatic. No dodge, no extra movement, just send it directly to the blade. Is there such a way to play? Get away. Deacon Chen was afraid. He was really afraid at this moment. He punched Lei Lei fiercely, trying to drive away this lunatic. Hee <laughs> hee, go to hell. Lei Lei said with a smile and slashed away with his sword. Poof. Ah, it was also a coincidence that Lei Lei was hit by Deacon Chen's punch and his body was immediately knocked away. At the same time, the long sword he slashed out did not cut off Deacon Chen's head, but the long sword he slashed out deflected and severed Deacon Chen's head, arm. The left arm was almost broken off. But he also saved his life. Congratulations host, completed the task. At this time, the voices of nine trumpets sounded in Lei Lei's mind at the same time. Lei Lei's eyes brightened. Ha ha, the mission is finally completed. He didn't expect that he could complete the mission just by seriously injuring Deacon Chen. This system really surprised him. Kill him quickly, kill him. Deacon Chen roared. He was already going crazy. His left arm was severed by a sword, which made him even more crazy. He has no power anymore, kill him quickly. Deacon Chen endured the pain of his broken arm and roughly pushed the mercenary who came to help him. There was an almost crazy look on his face. He didn't know whether he was stimulated by the pain of his broken arm or fell into madness. Kill him together. He has exhausted his power and can no longer use magic. The remaining mercenaries who could still move looked at each other and looked at the weapon that Lei Ting was clenching, but they hesitated for a moment, but they still approached cautiously. Kill him together. Deacon Chen looked at the dilly-dallying mercenaries, shouted loudly, held the long sword in his right hand, endured the severe pain, and killed them. Fight him. With him taking the lead, the mercenaries naturally did not hesitate, and also brandished their weapons to kill them. Ha ha, my mission is completed, it's time to go. Who says I can't use magic anymore? Lei Lei looked at the mercenaries rushing towards him, quickly forming seals with his hands, and his remaining mental value instantly dropped to single digits. He couldn't continue fighting. Although the system gave him a special body, 
under the high-intensity battle and the injured body, the body could no longer support him to fight. He didn't want to try the consequences of having his head cut off. Magnet style, Sunatetsu no Tsubasa. This was his last resort to save his life, and he used it at this moment. No, Deacon Chen looked at the magic used by Lei Ting and suddenly let out an unwilling scream. Under the incredulous gazes of everyone, Thunder instantly formed a pair of giant bird wings on his back, and then the wings shook, and then flew into the air under everyone's shocked gazes. Ha ha, want to kill me? With the help of these wings, Lei Lei stood in the void, looked down at Deacon Chen and others, and said mockingly, come on. Lei Lei looked down at Deacon Chen who was almost going crazy and cursing, and said again, why can't you hit me? Then I have to leave. However, before I leave, I will give you one more big gift. As soon as Lei Ting's words fell, the wings behind him moved quickly, and then countless feathers made of sand and iron were launched from the wings, covering Deacon Chen and others below. Although it cannot kill the enemy, it can still make them very uncomfortable. You fool, come down, come down here, let's fight to the death. Bye bye, I will come to visit you tomorrow. Amid their screams and curses, Thunder flew to the opposite cliff and then disappeared into the night. The mercenaries standing hundreds of meters away were all stunned. What did they see, Xiao Qiang from immune to death? So awesome. The final battle scene was unbearable to watch, the desperate fighting style was so brutal. Haha, ha, I told you that that adult would definitely win. Wo Sao, is he still a human? It's magic and martial arts. Magic is almost instantaneous. That's not how magic and martial arts work. Haha, ha, I'm so excited. I'm actually a witness. What happens here tomorrow will definitely shock the entire Warcraft town. The Black Wolf mercenary group failed this time, and it was extremely miserable. Hey, let's see what they can do to be arrogant in the future. Who is that lord? Hundreds of people surrounded and killed him, but he actually killed him. Simply, too strong. No one could answer, and the place returned to peace again, but what happened here was spread in the town of Warcraft, and was even sung by the rangers throughout the empire. All the forces are looking for this person, but no one can find him, he seems to have disappeared. Ha, huh, I almost told you where it was. The pain coming from his body made Lei Lei feel lucky. If he hadn't frightened them and got entangled by them, it would be difficult for him to escape. However, the rewards are also great. Hearing the familiar roar coming from behind, he sneered in his heart. The next time they met, he would give Deacon Chen a big gift. Then he walked towards the forest. He wanted to find a safe place to rest as soon as possible. This is deep in the Warcraft mountains, where high-level Warcraft come and go. If you are not careful, you may become prey. Not long after, a cave was discovered on a steep mountain wall. After blocking the entrance of the cave, Lele's tired body could no longer hold on and fell down. Sleeping in the darkness, Lele felt confused that his body was very comfortable, as if a stream of vitality was constantly nourishing his body, and the wounds left in the battle were being quickly repaired. My body felt relaxed, unprecedentedly comfortable, and I fell asleep again. Lei Lei, who was sleeping, didn't know how long it had passed before his consciousness finally broke through the darkness. He slowly opened his hazy eyes and looked around. Only a faint beam of light shone in from the loosely sealed hole. He said with a helpless smile, too brave. He didn't expect to fall asleep directly. At the same time, he was lucky to have found this cave, otherwise the consequences would be disastrous. Lei Ting stood up. The full strength in his body made Lei Lei feel a little energetic. He checked his body again and found that all the wounds had been completely healed. The severely injured internal organs and penetrating wounds were all healed, and even no scars were left. Wow Sao! The primary immortal body is so terrifying, and the complete immortal body can't even fly. Grinning, Lei Lei thought about this harvest and looked forward to it. Nine speakers, open the property bar. Okay, host. Level. Chunin experience. 61,156 100 thousandths. Name. Thunder. HP value. 300 three hundredths. Spiritual value. 3,000 three thousandths. Ninjutsu. Free body technique, instant body technique, great fireball technique, healing technique, water body technique, earth style, earth stone dragon, fire style, fire dragon flame bullet, lightning style, thunder ball, fire style, 
Phoenix Sage Fire Technique, Shadow Clone Technique. Taijutsu. Taijutsu Grand Master. Blood Succession Limit. Magnet Style, Primary Immortal Body. Contribution Value. 14,578. Holy crap, 3,000 spiritual points. Lei Lei was stunned for a moment, and then it was natural. Thinking of the massive chakra in the immortal body, he was relieved, but. Ju Xiao Xiao, why hasn't the blood volume increased? Host, the function of the immortal body is to increase chakra and vitality. The strong vitality can give faster recovery and a stronger body. It does not affect the blood volume. Understood, that is to say, the immortal body can quickly recover the injury and blood volume after being injured. Yes, host, can the mental value be recovered quickly? Lei Lei had some hope that if he could recover quickly during the battle with the Black Wolf mercenary group, he wouldn't be in such an embarrassing situation. Okay, host, wow Sao, you are so powerful, this is just the body of an elementary immortal, what about the body of a more advanced immortal? Can't answer. Ah, Ju Xiao Xiao, you said your body will be stronger, do you mean strength? It's not just limited to strength, it's the improvement of the entire physical quality, whether it's strength, agility, reaction, an all-round improvement. Hiss. After hearing Zhu Xiaohan's words, Lei Lei took a deep breath, which meant that his physical skills may have improved to a higher level. This was too powerful. It's so cool to clear the dungeon of the Black Wolf mercenary group. After this battle, not only has my strength been horribly improved, but I have also become a little richer. Lei Lei looked at the contribution value of more than 10,000 with great excitement, and the consumption. I want to spend high. Nine horns, open the ninjutsu bar. Okay, looking at the ninjutsu on the ninjutsu column that made him salivate, he swallowed secretly. He wanted to learn it. After watching the A-level ninjutsu, the excitement he had just felt dissipated immediately. Not enough, totally not enough. The Chidori and Rasengan that I wanted the most were both over 30,000, and I felt depressed. In the end, his eyes were fixed on the, water iron cannon technique. This ninjutsu is also a Muji ninjutsu. It is basically instantaneous and very powerful. It killed Gara's sand release clone with one shot. It is a weapon for close combat. If a water cannon suddenly fires from behind you, there will be no time to dodge. The power is powerful enough, and it only requires 3,000 contribution points. That's it. The art of exchanging water and iron cannon. Okay, host, exchange it for the water iron cannon technique, which will consume 3,000 contribution points. Hearing the sound of the nine trumpets, Lele felt a burst of pain in his flesh again, as if someone was cutting his flesh bit by bit with a dull knife. Hey, the contribution value is still too little, Chidori, Rasengan, when can I redeem it? I still have to work. I didn't escape the fate of a migrant worker in Blue Star. I am still reduced to a migrant worker in this other world. Lei Lei was extremely sad and angry, and turned his grief and anger into strength. He blasted away the stone blocking the cave with one punch. Standing at the entrance of the cave, the dazzling sunlight narrowed his eyes slightly, and he was about to vent his anger on the monster. Suddenly, a violent fighting wave exploded in the sky like muffled thunder. Hearing the sound of fighting, Lei Lei's face changed slightly, and his eyes were fixed on that direction, where the violent energy was coming from. As this, someone fighting. Above the clear sky, violent energy collisions continued to create loud noises. Even if the thunder was far away from the fighting place, it could still be heard. He stared at that place with his eyes, frowned slightly at the battle in the distance, and whispered to himself, go over and take a look. Someone who can emit such a strong battle wave is unlikely to be a weakling. He also wanted to go over and see if he could catch some fish by the way. He glanced at the direction, no longer hesitated, and stepped forward. The figure fell directly from the mountain wall, falling rapidly. In just one breath, when the thunder was only a few meters away from the ground, his feet were on the mountain wall. He pushed forward and landed smoothly on the ground. Sure enough, the body's coordination and reaction speed have improved. Then, the whole body's strength exploded, and the figure exploded in that direction. Haha, <laughs> is this the blessing of the primary immortal body? Feeling the wind-like speed, Lele burst out laughing. The thick branches swayed gently in the wind, like ghosts showing their teeth and claws, and occasionally dead leaves drifted in the wind. Lu Wu, aren't you very good at running? 
Why don't you continue running? Not far away, a middle-aged man looked at the man in front of him who was only 23 or 4 years old and shouted coldly. This middle-aged man was wearing armor and holding a sword in his hand. His seemingly sunken eyes gave out a sharp and sinister look. As long as you hand over the level 7 magic core, I can let you go. How about this deal? You don't want to be buried here either. Then he threatened. Behind the middle-aged man, there were 15 burly men standing with cold and stern eyes. The aura around them should have been formed by years of killing. Ordinary people would never have this kind of aura on their bodies. At this time, they were filled with murderous aura, locking onto the people on the opposite side, and would take action without hesitation if there was even the slightest movement. Chen Gong, standing opposite the big man was a young man, wearing the tutor uniform of Falong Academy, with blood stains on it. At this time, he could no longer tell whether it was his own or the one left by the person he killed. He held the long sword tightly, with traces of blood flowing from it. His breath became a little weak, and he stared sharply at the middle-aged man in front of him. After hearing that sentence, he became a little moved. They were already weak after the battle with the level 7 monsters, and then they were chased all the way. Their bodies were even weaker, and they were almost reaching the limit of their bodies. However, the strength of these mercenaries is still there, and they cannot change the fate of being overtaken. After they escaped for a moment, they were eventually caught up with them, and a brief conflict broke out. He glanced at the three people behind him. They had all reached their limit. If the battle continued, no, they must be taken back. Thinking of this, he stared at Chen Gong fiercely. Want level 7 magic core? Ha ha, that's right. When Chen Gong heard Lu Wu's moving words, he laughed proudly, hand over the magic core, and you can leave. Ha ha, let us go. Yang Shui listened to the harsh laughter and immediately sneered. He looked at the people of the Black Wolf mercenary group with evil eyes and shouted coldly, your Black Wolf mercenary group is now how much credibility does it have? Yes, the bad rumors about the Black Wolf mercenary group are not groundless. We worked hard for this, how can you just give it to you just when you said I would hand it over? On both sides of Yang Shui stood a burly young man. They were both students of Lu Wu's sect. The one on the left was named Kai Ming, and the one on the right was named Lu Wu. They are also high-level swordsmen, and their bodies are full of scars, including sword wounds and claw wounds, and even some wounds are still oozing with blood. Yang Shui accepted a high-level mission in the mission hall to hunt for a level 5 fire magic core. After several people completed the mission in the Warcraft Mountains. On the way back, he accidentally bumped into a level 7 monster that was on the verge of death. After a costly battle, he finally hunted down the level 7 monster and obtained the magic core. But at this time, an accident occurred again. The people of the Black Wolf mercenary group had been lurking aside early in the morning. After they killed the level 7 monsters, they immediately surrounded them. Then the conflict inevitably broke out between the two sides over the level 7 magic core. With their strength, they were not worried about the members of the Black Wolf mercenary group. However, the successive battles, especially the battle with level 7 monsters, had depleted all their fighting spirit, and their bodies had suffered varying degrees of damage. In the subsequent pursuit battle with the Black Wolf mercenary group, their strength was consumed faster, and they were forced into the dangerous situation they were in now. Hee hee, pay it, or not, Chen Gongwu said sarcastically, he felt that there was no need to say more, so what if they were all high-level swordsmen or above? Being powerful also requires physical strength and fighting spirit to support it. Now they are so weak that they can barely stand, how can they fight with them? The advantage is his, teacher, you can't hand it over. Yang Shui said resolutely, if you hand it over, we won't have any chance at all. Isn't the Black Wolf mercenary group doing a lot of killing and smuggling? That's right, mentor, even if the fish is dead and the net is broken, we will not agree. After hearing Yang Shui's words, Kai Ming, who was standing on the left, also said, supporting Yang Shui's decision. Lu Wu also nodded vigorously, expressing his agreement with their decision. He he, very brave, people who come out of the academy are ambitious. Chen Gong smiled coldly, but there was a trace of murderous intent in his sinister eyes. Lu Wu, I'll give you one last chance. You don't want them to die miserably here and feed them to the monsters. When Chen Gong said this, 
his eyes stared fiercely at Yang Shui's bumpy figure. Although she is still very young, her beautiful face and curvy figure have already stood out from the crowd. Such a beautiful little beauty, it would be a pity if she died here. Ha ha, Captain, you will be the first one later. Brothers can also follow and have a try. The mercenaries behind Chen Gong suddenly let out lewd laughter, and kept looking at Yang Shui with fiery eyes. Ha ha, Yang Shui looked at the fiery eyes and lewd smiles of those mercenaries, and her face turned red with anger. She wished she could rush up and kill them all with a sword. This was the first time in her life that she had been looked at so unscrupulously and even verbally teased. Ha ha, the little lady is so energetic when she's angry, much more energetic than the top brass in those brothels. I'll kill you. How could Yang Shui accept such an insult? She immediately wanted to kill him with her sword, but don't be impulsive, Yang Shui, they are trying to anger you so that they can capture you. Lu Wu held down Yang Shui who was about to rush forward, looked at Chen Gong, and said lightly, put away your worries. He he, as expected of a college tutor. The magic core can be handed over to you, but you have to let them go first. Having said this, Lu Wu's aura suddenly exploded, slowly suppressing him. Tutor, tutor, there were shouts of reluctance and disbelief from behind, but Lu Wu did not speak, but waved his hands towards them, while his eyes were fixed on Chen Gong. He wanted to exchange his life for a glimmer of hope for Yang Shui and the others. Hey, Lu Wu, Chen Gong laughed coldly and said, what qualifications do you have to negotiate terms with me now? Then, he shouted loudly, you don't have any qualifications now, hand over the magic core. Chen Gong, everyone knows the nature of your Black Wolf mercenary group, so I have to be on guard. Lu Wu shouted in a deep voice, let them go, demon core, I will give it to them with both hands. Ha ha, seeing Lu Wu being so determined, Chen Gong's face suddenly turned colder and he laughed loudly. His eyes were full of cold murderous intent. After a while, his voice actually turned colder. Lu Wu, Chen Gong suddenly shouted, how could they be allowed to leave like this? My brothers cannot die in vain. Although your Falong Academy is powerful, this is the Warcraft Mountains. Who knows if you die here? If that's the case, then go die. Line up and kill. Yes, kill all the men, but, keep the women. Yes, kill, regardless of whether the magic core is handed over or not, they must die. Cut. As soon as Chen Gong finished speaking, his figure had a terrifying aura. He stepped on the sole of his foot and shot towards Lu Wu like an arrow from the string. The big knife in his hand struck Lu Wu fiercely. Kill, kill the men, and keep the women. A small leader of a senior swordsman behind Chen Gong saw Chen Gong killing Lu Wu, and immediately shouted, leading the team to outflank Yang Shui and the others. Yes, kill, roll, Lu Wu, who had been on guard for a long time, looked at Chen Gong who was coming to kill him. He gritted his teeth and endured the painful injury. His fighting spirit suddenly burst out, and he swung out the long sword in his hand with violent force. The fighting spirit permeating it was heavily intertwined with the sword. Bump, stab, the sound of gold and iron interlacing resounded in a burst of sparks, and huge power exploded violently at the intersection of the swords. After the violent impact, Lu Wu suddenly felt a huge pain in his chest. Then he sweetened his mouth and his face suddenly changed. Sure enough, it was too forced. His strength is not inferior to that of Chen Gong. He is also a great swordsman, and the cultivation techniques obtained as an academy instructor are more powerful. However, after the battle with a level 7 monster, the scars on his body were only barely suppressed by him. Go down. But just one blow still caused the injury. No. If you continue like this, you will die. Lu Wu thought of this and looked at Chen Gong in front of him. He secretly felt fierce in his heart and violently exploded his strength to force him back. This guy, actually still has the power to resist. After Chen Gong distanced himself, he felt the numbness on his arm and couldn't help but feel a little surprised. However, when he saw the blood slowly flowing out of the corner of Lu Wu's mouth and his pale face, his face suddenly became happy. Injury broke out, ha ha, Lu Wu, you are already weak and injured, so what can you use to fight? Ha, ha, Lu Wu's chest rose and fell rapidly, his body trembled slightly, and he stared at Chen Gong. Can you still fight? A sneer flashed across Chen Gong's lips, and the fighting spirit in his body was circulating rapidly. 
Yang Shui, leave quickly. Lu Wu roared at the same time. The three of them, Bai Shui, also repelled the mercenary's temptation. Led by two senior swordsmen, the mercenary team was organized to consume their remaining physical strength. After a few moves, they could only passively defend themselves and were in constant danger. Tutor, hearing Lu Wu's roar, Yang Shui couldn't help but feel sad and angry. Walk, let's go, Chen Gong shouted at the mercenaries. Stop delaying, kill them. Yes, and Lu Wu also saw the danger of Bai Shui and the others, and jumped up and rushed towards the Bai Shui and the others, regardless of Chen Gong in front. However, the moment the figure jumped up, Chen Gong, who had been prepared for it, burst into laughter. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Flame slash. The broadsword in his hand was quickly swung towards the leaping Lu Wu, and a hot flame of fighting energy swept towards Lu Wu crazily. Not good. Seeing Chen Gong's sudden attack, Lu Wu said secretly in midair. The figure spun rapidly in an instant, swinging the long sword quickly toward the flame fighting spirit. The sword light rushed out, making a sharp sound of breaking through the air, and then crashed into the flame fighting spirit. Bang! The flame fighting spirit collided fiercely with the sword light, causing a violent explosion sound in the air, and the released energy swept all around. Break it for me! The sword struck by Lu Wu seemed to be no surprise to Chen Gong. When the energy swept through, the figure instantly jumped up and passed through the turbulent energy zone. Looking at Lu Wu coldly, he slashed at Lu Wu with the big knife in his hand without hesitation. The blade was filled with red, like a burning flame. Bang! What? Lu Wu looked at Chen Gong who suddenly came to kill him, and his face became even more solemn. He fell into Chen Gong's plan. In a state where his old strength has not been eliminated and new strength has not been born, he looked at Chen Gong who came to kill him. Suddenly he became violent. Scare, with a loud shout, he summoned up his fighting spirit and swung his sword towards Chen Gong. Two figures collided in the air, flames shot out, and the sword light instantly turned into nothingness. A figure flew out upside down, the huge figure slammed to the ground, and a mouthful of blood spit out immediately, it was Lu Wu. Chen Gong seized the opportunity and launched a series of fierce attacks, which caught him off guard. Coupled with his already weak body, he could no longer resist and was knocked away. You have very little strength left in your body. If you deal with it carefully, you can still sustain it for a while, but, you care about them too much. Chen Gong's face showed sarcasm, he exerted force on his feet, his fighting spirit surged, and he threw himself directly towards Lu Wu. He he, Lu Wu, let's see how many moves you can sustain. Chen Gong said again, and the cold light of the sword in his hand shone. Tutor, Yang Shui and the others looked at the sudden change and exclaimed. I'm sorry, I can only accompany you here. Run away. Lu Wu looked at Yang Shui and the others apologetically. They were his three most proud disciples, but he could no longer lead them forward. Just then, are all the people in the Black Wolf mercenary group so vile? A voice suddenly sounded, and then a black shadow rushed toward Chen Gong like lightning, the long sword in his hand shining with cold light. Chen Gong was startled. It was too late to launch an attack on Lu Wu. He rushed towards Lu Wu's figure and paused. With a broadsword on one side of his body, he blocked the sudden sword. Clang! The swords intersected, and a crisp sound resounded, attracting everyone's attention. As soon as the sword made contact, Guido was startled by the power contained in it, and the insteps of his feet sank into the ground. Snort, looking at Chen Gong struggling to hold on, Lei Lei's eyes lit up. He didn't expect that the power of the junior immortal's body was so great that it could actually suppress the great swordsman. However, Looking at Chen Gong who was supporting him in front of him, a sneer appeared on his lips. Strange power. The power in his arm exploded instantly. Chen Gong, who barely blocked it, had not yet woken up from the shock, but a huge force came from the weapon again, causing a look of horror on his face, his body curved strangely, and his feet quickly retreated, widening the distance. Who are you? After Chen Gong staggered to steady his body, he stared at Lei Lei with a hint of fear in his eyes. The sudden change temporarily relieved Lu Wu's crisis, and the mercenaries who were attacking Yang Shui and others quickly retreated. The crisis is resolved at the same time. The three of them, Yang Shui, were able to escape and quickly rushed to Lu Wu. They were each on guard, while sizing up the young man who suddenly appeared. 
Yang Shui looked at this figure with a sense of familiarity, but couldn't remember it for a moment. Who are you? Chen Gong stared at the visitor and shouted loudly again. At this time, Lei Lei smiled, because the sound of nine trumpets sounded in his mind. Trigger a mission, a rescue mission, and rescue someone who is also from Falong Academy. Reward 8,000 experience points and 3,000 contribution points. Ha ha. Lei Lei suddenly burst out laughing, looking at Chen Gong and the others as if they were looking at beautiful women, full of excitement. The people in the Black Wolf Mercenary Group were simply his lucky stars. The people in the Black Wolf Mercenary Group only felt a chill and looked at Lei Lei with numb scalp. That look was all too familiar to them. You won't have the power of Long Yang, right? An inexplicable feeling of tightness in the anus. Your Excellency, we have no grievances. This is our personal grudge. I hope you will not interfere. The Black Wolf Mercenary Group will be grateful afterwards. Chen Gong was trembling a little when he spoke. He was not afraid, but was disgusted by the visitor. No grievances, personal grudges. Lei Lei showed a sneer and said slowly, Even if I know your identities, I will not let you go. Are all the people in your Black Wolf Mercenary Group a virtuous person? What you say is nice, but what you do is unscrupulous. I've learned that before. Hearing Lei Ting's words, Chen Gong's eyes narrowed slightly and he stared closely at the smiling face. His heart sank. It seemed that he had met an enemy, and he didn't know which fool had provoked him and didn't clean him up. Ha ha, your excellency, leave now, and we will let go of our previous grudges. Chen Gong laughed to cover up his embarrassment and said lightly, since he knew the reason why this young man forced himself to come forward, it was better to stabilize him first. Ha ha, Lei Lei sneered, but didn't pay much attention. Instead, he turned to look at Bai Shui and the others, and said with a smile, Senior, I can actually meet you here. Do you need help? No payment required. When Yang Shui behind him heard this, he looked at the familiar figure standing in front with some confusion, but with a thunderous sound. Senior sister, does not need any payment. The somewhat vague memories suddenly appeared in my mind, Sister UAA's request, and the green face in the mission hall overlapped with the person in front of me. Yang Shui's body trembled even more violently, and she looked at the person in front of her with her eyes wide open, as if watching an incredible person appear. It's you, Junior, how is that possible? Yang Shui even let out a low cry, causing the other three to look over in surprise and ask what was going on. I mentioned to you that what happened when I received the mission in the mission hall was just because of his strength. Yang Shui said slowly, with a look of shock on her face. It was clear that he was much weaker than her at that time, but now the strength he has shown. How long does it take? Half a month. Can you grow to be as good as a great swordsman? Yang Shui was in a trance for a while, feeling that everything was unreal. This, after Yang Shui's reminder, Kai Ming and Lu Wu were also shocked. They did not expect that they would actually meet him. However, instead of helping Thunder complete their mission, they suddenly appeared to assist them when they were in crisis. This matter is really unpredictable. Solve things first and then talk. When Lei Lei saw their surprised faces, he didn't need to explain too much. Another fool from Falong Academy. Chen Gong licked his tongue, his eyes became colder and murderous, and then his face suddenly changed, and he said ferociously, then let's die together, kill them. The subordinates behind him waved their weapons with ferocious looks on their faces, and charged at Lei Lei and the others. Stand behind, Lei Lei said to the person behind him, hold on, leave the rest to me. At the same time, the fighting spirit in Chen Gong surged out, and the sword he waved was gradually filled with fiery red, and then he roared angrily and swept away at Lei Lei and the others. Strange power, strange power, as Lei Lei heard a soft shout in his heart, the power of his right hand holding the long sword suddenly exploded, and then he slashed hard. Bang, the swords crossed each other and Chen Gong, who was on guard this time, sneered, you overestimate your capabilities, you should leave as soon as possible, and you still have a chance to survive. Yeah, but as soon as he finished speaking, an even more terrifying force struck him instantly. Even the big knife he was holding almost flew out, and his legs were even bent under the huge force. There was a trace of blood at the corner of his mouth, and his eyes showed disbelief. How could his power become more terrifying? He didn't have time to think too much and shouted loudly at the mercenary who rushed up behind him. Kill them, hee hee, think about yourself first. 
A flash of killing intent flashed in Lei Lei's eyes. At this moment, his left hand was shaped like a pistol and pointed at Chen Gong. At the same time, a drop of water quickly condensed on the tip of his index finger. When Chen Gong looked at Lei Lei's movements, he suddenly felt a crisis, kicked his feet, and quickly retreated. It's too late, Lei Lei sneered. Bang! Water iron cannon technique. The water droplets on his fingers were like bullets fired from the barrel, shooting towards Chen Gong who was retreating. Poof! Ah, because the distance was too close, there was no time to dodge during the sudden attack. Chen Gong only felt a sudden pain in his shoulder and was instantly penetrated. At the same time, blood spattered everywhere, and he couldn't help but scream. Everything is complicated, but what happened within a few breaths of time was that Chen Gong was injured. How is that possible? What is that? They looked like droplets of water, but they easily injured Chen Gong. Quick, quickly save the captain. Seeing Chen Gong screaming and retreating while covering his shoulders, his men woke up first, and several of them attacked Lei Lei. Snort, the thundering figure shot out. Strange power exploded, and then punched a mercenary who rushed up with a heavy punch on the chest. PFF, the mercenary's chest sank instantly, and the surging force instantly smashed his body away, hitting the mercenary leaping behind him. Suddenly, the two mercenaries vomited blood and shot it backwards. Fire style, Phoenix Sage fire technique. Fireballs, like cannonballs, continuously bombarded the two mercenaries who flew out, turning into raging fires, and wailing screams continued to sound, but there was no sound for a moment. In almost two or three rounds, Lei Lei easily eliminated the three intermediate swordsmen, while the mercenaries who surrounded him paused, looking at Lei Lei with frightened expressions on their faces. But Thunder did not stop. He held the long sword in his right hand and completed the seal with his left hand. Instant technique. With a swish sound, the figure suddenly disappeared in front of them. Where are the others? The already nervous mercenaries looked at Lei Lei who disappeared in front of them in an instant and couldn't help but exclaimed. At the same time, they looked around and observed their surroundings. Are you looking for me? Lei Lei stood on a tree behind them, saying hello lightly, and at the same time there were thunderballs that made, sizzling, sounds of electricity, which continued to enlarge in their eyes. What? Lightning style, thunderball. When they instinctively wanted to avoid it, the thunderballs hit them like cannonballs. Bah! The explosion of five thunderballs immediately enveloped them with electric current, paralyzing their whole bodies. Although they could not kill them, their bodies that had been shocked by electricity were also paralyzed at the same time, temporarily losing their ability to move. Ah, I can't move, help me. Fire style, fire dragon flame bullet. Lei Lei looked at these mercenaries asking for help with cold eyes. Under their frightened faces, he spit out a huge fire dragon, and the hot fire dragon rolled towards them. No, seeing the enveloping fire dragon, these mercenaries wanted to escape, but their paralyzed bodies were unable to move at all. They could only watch the scorching flames getting closer and closer, and roared unwillingly. They obviously couldn't believe that this boy, who was only 16 years old, could actually use such terrifying magic. Almost instantly, the roaring raging flame swallowed up the mercenaries, and the terrifying power completely exploded. In just one breath, there was a sea of fire more than 10 meters in front of the thunder. The power of the fire dragon's flame bomb shocked the others, and the blazing flames constantly impacted their vision. After a while, the flames extinguished, and there was nothing but ashes in the place where the fire dragon swept. The mercenaries have turned into charred corpses lying on the ground. The armor on their bodies has melted, and the surface of their bodies has been carbonized. They are too dead to die. Yang Shui and the others standing in the distance looked at the mercenary who was almost completely beaten in Lei Ting's hands. At this time, their expressions were surprisingly consistent. Dumb. Completely dull. The moment Chen Gong was suddenly injured, they all just took a deep breath. If Chen Gong was stunned by the sudden thunder attack earlier, it was because he was caught off guard. But now this series of battles, as well as the moment when the fire dragon danced wildly, let everyone know that thunder's strength was still underestimated by them. At this moment, they no longer have to worry about the Black Wolf mercenary group. Yang Shui, is this really that junior fellow student? It felt very unreal to see the mercenaries who had forced them into a desperate situation being eliminated by the thunder in two or three strokes. 
There is nothing wrong, it's just. Yang Shui thought of Lei Lei's depressed face at that time, and said with a wry smile, I should have made a mistake. You are so powerful at such a young age, and you are also a master of both magic and martial arts. You should be a genius in the academy, but why haven't you heard of it? Nor have you heard any other instructors remind you. Lu Wu looked at Lei Ting. He could clearly see that he had never seen or heard of this student in the academy. This made him very confused. He had never heard of Lei Lei's outstanding strength and powerful magic. He was obviously a genius in both magic and martial arts. Why is it so strange? Hearing Lu Wu's words, Yang Shui was stunned, then smiled bitterly and asked her what to say. Could it be said that Thunder was originally a loser? Genius, they said to themselves that they were geniuses, but facing the thunder in front of them, the word, genius, really didn't come to the fore, so they could only laugh bitterly. Lei Lei moved slowly, the long sword in his hand glowed coldly, and his eyes stared at the people of the Black Wolf mercenary group. Those people felt a sense of fear and couldn't help but take a step back. In terms of momentum, they have already lost, only losing to one person. You, seeing that his men were so afraid of thunder, Chen Gong held the wound on his shoulder. The huge pain on the wound made his eyes red. I never expected that the students from Falong College I met randomly would have such strength. After raising his head and glancing at the charred corpse on the ground, he stared closely at Lei Lei, his face full of resentment and ferocity, which made people feel chilling. But, little fool, if you fall into my hands, your life will be worse than death. Chen Gong said hoarsely and coldly. I don't think you have a chance of getting out of here alive. The thunderous eyes also contain cold murderous intent. The experience value of being able to kill a great swordsman must not be low. Thunder looked at these mercenaries and killed him. At the same time, the blow to the Black Wolf mercenary group in Warcraft Town would not be low, so no matter what, he would not easily let this guy leave alive. One great swordsman, two senior swordsmen, and four intermediate swordsmen, with murderous intent flashing in their eyes. There was hesitation in Chen Gong's eyes, but he was not in a hurry to take action, and was confronting Lei Ting. Sudden, when they focused all their attention on thunder, another figure rushed out of the woods and quickly killed them, with several thunder balls wrapped around it. What, the figure that suddenly appeared suddenly stunned them, and Lei Lei's eyes suddenly brightened, and his hands moved quickly. Get away, where did he come from? Lightning style, thunderball, explode. Zila, three thunderballs exploded in front of them at the same time, and the scene just now happened again. This is a shadow clone arranged by Lei Lei. The shadow is hiding aside, waiting for an opportunity to suddenly burst out. Unexpectedly, shadow clone actually sees the opportunity and suddenly rushed out, detonating the thunderball on his body at the same time. Although the thunderball released instantly could not kill them, it also paralyzed them. It only bought him a few seconds, which was enough. This was also the tactic I thought of after the last war, and it succeeded unexpectedly. Fire style, fire dragon flame bullet. Boom, no. Another fire dragon swept away. Two senior swordsmen and four intermediate swordsmen had no chance to escape. They were hit by the fire dragon and burned into a pile. Chen Gong was luckier. The fire and earth from the fire dragon's explosion knocked him out. He did not die, but was only burned by the high temperature. Lei Lei did not take action again, but looked at Chen Gong. He was the only one left in the Black Wolf mercenary team, and he had no helpers. The fire light shone heavily on Chen Gong's face, and Lei Lei saw that he became nervous. Why, don't you choose to escape? Snort. The two looked at each other. Chen Gong didn't run away, he just shouted coldly and ignored Lei Ting's words. He knew there was no hope of escaping. He was an experienced mercenary and he still had some discernment. Rather than relying on hopeless escape, it is better to fight for the slim chance of survival. Ha ha, I didn't expect. Chen Gong suddenly laughed, and then showed a sad smile, I will also die in the Warcraft Mountains. This is your own fault. Lei Lei said calmly, ha ha. Did you bring it upon yourself? Chen Gong's face showed a ferocious look, and his voice suddenly became sharp. Yes, you brought it upon yourself, but I don't regret it. I made a mistake today. Looking at Lei Lei's indifferent expression, Chen Gong's voice became even louder. Even if I die, I won't make it easy for you. Burn, 
Chen Gong shouted crazily, and the fighting energy in his body suddenly exploded. Then all the fighting energy was suddenly sucked into his body. Chen Gong's body suddenly trembled violently, and a violent and majestic momentum burst out from his body. No, he is burning with fighting spirit. Lu Wu was shocked when he saw Chen Gong's appearance. Ha ha, that's right, burn all the fighting spirit in your body, sacrifice your own life, and gain short-term strength. Chen Gong looked crazy. As long as I can kill you, it doesn't matter if I burn all my fighting spirit. Even if I die, I will drag you to the funeral. Quote, ha ha, just die. Chen Gong felt the explosive power all over his body, his eyes fixed on thunder, and then, all the power in his body exploded, and he hit the ground. Bang, the body was like a bomb hitting the thunder. HMPH, if you can turn it on, are you bullying me for not being strong? Lei Lei looked at Chen Gong, who was coming to kill him. He put his hands together, and countless sand and iron quickly condensed in the void. Come on, let's see who's bigger is more powerful. Magnet style, sand iron cuboid. Countless sand and iron quickly condensed into a dense cube under the call of thunder. Looking at Chen Gong who was charging towards him, the sand and iron cuboid slammed into him quickly. When Chen Gong saw the sand iron rectangular object that hit him, he had no idea what it was, so he punched it hard with the fighting spirit condensed in his fists. Boom, it is equivalent to a cannonball hitting a thick iron plate, and the sand iron on the upper surface of the sand iron cuboid is instantly scattered, but the cuboid condensed with sand iron is too thick. The sand iron cuboid that did not break instantly knocked Chen Gong's body away. PFF, the violent impact made the body, which was already ravaged by fighting spirit, unable to bear it anymore, and a mouthful of blood spurted out. Ha ha, you can't kill me. But as if Chen Gong didn't know the pain, he stabilized his body, roared, and charged out again. Humph, Lei Lei looked at Chen Gong indifferently, and the seals on his hands changed again. The sand and iron in the void changed again. Magnet style, hands of sand and iron. A huge hand of sand and iron formed in the air and grabbed Chen Gong, who was charging towards him. Chen Gong was jumping in the air, unable to use his strength to dodge. He could only attack the giant hand in the hope of breaking it open. However, he was disappointed. The defense of the giant hand was too strong and he could not break it with his strength. The giant sand iron hands instantly grabbed him and bound him tightly. Ah, Chen Gong was very unwilling and roared repeatedly, and the fighting spirit in his body continued to explode, but... Stop struggling needlessly, you can't escape. Lei Lei said mockingly. Chen Gong's face turned even paler at this time, and his burning fighting spirit was about to reach its limit. Ha ha, I curse you to die. The Black Wolf mercenary group will not let you go. Oh my god. Chen Gong went crazy and kept cursing. There was nothing he could do but keep yelling. Then shut up. Lei Lei looked at Chen Gong who kept cursing, raised his left hand, and then shot a drop of water towards Chen Gong's head like a bullet. Poof, water droplets penetrated his head, blood splashed everywhere, and the world became peaceful. Congratulations to host, you killed the great swordsman for the first time, gained 6,000 experience points and 3,000 contribution points. Congratulations to host, for completing the rescue mission, you will be rewarded with 8,000 experience points and 3,000 contribution points. Phew, the battle is over. Thunder cancelled the magnet style, and the sand and iron lost control and fell to the ground like sand. Wow, haha, ha, so cool. Lei Lei looked at the mental value on the attribute bar. He had never fought such a rich battle. This battle consumed 1,000 mental values and ended perfectly. In the future, you can directly use ninjutsu to bomb. If it doesn't work once, it means the firepower is not enough and needs to be strengthened. Hey hey, thinking of this, Lei Lei showed a silly smile. Just one day ago, he had to fight the great swordsman with all his strength, but now he is so relaxed. The blessing of the immortal body is indeed terrifying. Yang Shui and others, who were dozens of miles away, knew the war was over the moment Chen Gong stopped struggling. They never expected that it would end so easily. Crushing strength. The traces left by the battle and the special martial arts used by Lei Ting all stimulated them. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.